I am sure sports. You know me there, I'm coach to coach representing. I'm going to say this is right as representing for Omar. You don't know, come get the sports over here from near and far. Boy, 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 boy. Me say, I am sure sports, one thing me sure about. When me say sure, that me, me not doubt. Come get your sports, get it over here. Come subscribe, repost, and share. I am sure sports, one thing me sure about. When me say sure, that me, me not doubt. Come get your sports, get it over here. Come subscribe, repost, and share. Yeah, share. If me not sure, that me, me not say it. Know who score, that me, me, me not say it. Never know the game play, that me, me, me not say it. If me never seen a game, me not know who play. If you have sports news, better come over here, so. If you suck on news, then come over here, so. If you don't love sports, still come over here. For the day, don't you want to love over your son? So, so, when it comes on to behavior concerning football, Jamaica is, is decent. I am sure that if we can get all of these things done, set in place by the end of April, it gives us enough time before the World Cup campaign. Not afraid of no Brazil, no Argentina with these crapper players. We are good enough. Remember, like, subscribe, 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 share. Listen, comment, let me know what your thoughts are. Trick Nick. Trick Nick Jerk Marinade gives your meats and vegetables authentic Jamaican jerk flavor. The spices are directly from Jamaica. Spices like jerk seasoning, allspice, scotch bonnet pepper, fresh scallions, thyme, ginger, and garlic. The key ingredients to a great jerk marinade. 0% sugar and low in sodium. You want to try it? Made up of 18 Jamaican herbs and spices. Add delicious, bold flavor to your next grilling experience. Flavoring sauce, a marinade, basting, condiment, or topping. Trick Nick Jerk Barbecue Sauce. All right, all right, all right. Good morning. Welcome to I Am Sure Sports. I am your host, Manningsman. How are you doing, people? Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful day it is. Yes, I hope you had a wonderful, wonderful weekend. Yes, um, and you have started the week well. It's it's a good week, right? A good week. This week is going to be, we have some good JPL action coming up this week. We also have at the end of the week, you know, international friendly games, Jamaica versus Trinidad and Tobago. I hope you have already prepared yourself to attend that game, right? Jamaica versus Trinidad and Tobago. Big things happening. Um, the, the, the team needs your support. The coach needs your support. And if you're unaware of what is happening, what is going on, uh, my name's man is going to give you uh, a, a, a little uh, uh, synopsis of what is going to be taking place if you're somewhere under some rock not uh, uh, understanding like I said what is happening with the football all right but yeah um, hope you had a wonderful weekend right hope you had a wonderful 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 weekend all of you you're doing well you're in good health you understand me? That is important. You know, we have life and we have we have health. And we give thanks to the most high God for preserving and keeping us. It it could have been different, you understand me? You know, this have this could have been, yeah, this could have been, you know, um worse for us in terms of the week. But you know, the Almighty God keeps and preserves us all. So we are here and we give him thanks for that life. We're not afraid, you know. To thank the most high God for life and life more abundantly in him. You understand me? No, we're not afraid. We're not afraid, people. We give thanks for life every day, every moment of every day. We give the most high God thanks for life. Yes, indeed. You know, you know what I'm saying? We are blessed indeed. You understand me? Yeah. We are blessed indeed. So we say, yes, indeed. You understand me? How was your weekend, people? Talk to me. Talk to Manning's man. How was your weekend? How was your weekend? How was your weekend? Did you have a good one? Did you have a good weekend? 
Yeah, man. Bless up to all the persons. Hope you had a good weekend. We have a couple of things that will be happening today. Um, we're going to talk about the JPL, the EPL, um, the Jamaica Women's Premier League. A, a new matter uh, came up recently, and so we are going to be talking about that matter. Um, and we're going to be talking to some persons from Royal Lake. Royal Lake is in the women, the Jamaica Women's Premier League. So we're going to talk. We'll be talking to someone uh, from that club. Uh, we have Michael Johnson, who is going to be on the show as well. Um, he's going to be on to talk to us about some issues happening. Well, not issues, some stuff that he's doing in 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 Western Jamaica as it relates to uh, women's football. All right, we're going to talk about the 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 EPL as well. Um, in particular, how the title race is shaping up and. Uh, the, 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 I need to hear from Soldier, 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 who traveled to the game, right? He, 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 he drove um, from Saturday to the game. Um, on, on, um, from Saturday, he left out for the game against Manchester, against Liverpool at Anfield. He's a Manchester United fan. We need to have him on the show today. We also need to, we'll be having hearing from a couple of the Manchester. United fans, you know, Demo needs to come on because the last time after the Real Madrid game, we gave him a hard time. His team triumphed yesterday, so we're looking forward to hearing from Demo and Saudi, who many people are giving a hard time when he came on and spoke before the, the Liverpool Manchester United clash. Now that the game is over, we need to hear from some of these people, all right? But, um, we, we want to get into uh, some of the matters that we want to discuss and, and, and tell you about. Some persons are already asking when the squad is going to be dropped. All right. Like I said, it, it, it would not be wise for the squad to be dropped before the JPL games tonight because anything can happen and some of the players will be engaged in the game. So you can expect that you'll hear. Oh, coach's desk, the people are also asking for you to speak as well. They have not heard from you. Mr. Menzi. <laughs> right? They need to hear from you. All right. Big up Fresh God in the cause. Fresh God is very moderate in terms of his discussion, discourse, and conversations. Right? Um, yeah. Um, Jason reminded me that real Madrid is coming up. Um coming up again so i don't think that's wise for the liverpool fans to, to speak but as an arsenal fan i want to hear from the liverpool fans because i'm telling you um they really worked on my behalf Sev, Sev, <laughs> Sev. <laughs> yeah big up big up big up that was a good one hey um but let me give you some reports of what happened um in the league, let me make sure you can hear some of this. You understand me? Yeah. I'm going to connect, so um, I need to play some stuff so you can hear. Big up, Ryan. <laughs> LFC in the building. All right. So let me find this for you, people, because this has been a very hilarious uh, weekend, you know, in, in football. But um, let me find this one for you, right? Um, tell me if you can hear it, right? Premier League. Manchester United. <laughs> Hold on. Hold on. Did you hear it, people? English Premier League. Manchester United. <laughs> hey, tell me if you hear that or I need to play it again. <laughs> You want me to play it again? If you never hear it, I can play it again. I just need to make sure that you all hear it. <laughs> oh, my Lord. 
<laughs> yeah. Uh, but let me let me do this for you as well because uh, let me just show you this. I'm a, oh geez, every time I try to do this, I end up in some problems. So um, yeah, let's see if we can do it again. All right, it, wait until it's set up. Yeah. Um, yeah. Um, yeah. Jason didn't hear it, so let's let's play it again for Jason. Cause you know, so Jason is is a is is a faithful subscriber. Yeah. English Premier League. Manchester United. <laughs> Dean Fraser, bless up yourself. <laughs> Yo, program sign off. I was seven, seven minutes. Seven. You see the seven people, you see the seven stripes that just run cross. <laughs> Big deal, and that wrong. One, two, three, four, five, six. A six thing that you're missing one. You're missing one. It should be seven. You're missing one. So you need to add the next one, big deal then. Fresh God, you're missing one to Fresh God. You're missing a few Fresh God. Get in the numbers right now, man. I want to Fresh God and big deal then, man. Get in the numbers right now, man. Get in the numbers right, man. And I call the thing wrong, man. Cha, man. <laughs> all right, all right. The one that said, the referee said so we are overdo it. <laughs> so, so let, let <laughs> soldier call in soldier, 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 fourth official, soldier, 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 fourth official, soldier. Let's see if we can. Uh, Tony, Tony, I need you to come and tell me, like, what are your thoughts from an English perspective? What happened at Anfield yesterday? What really transpired? So, people, let me give you, let me give you a joke, right? This is what happened yesterday with me. So, Manchester United fan, you know, we, we are church and things. So, I basically said, listen, I mean, you know, because it was one. And then in no time, the score changed to three. Like the, 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 the second and the third goal came in quick succession. So he saw, he was checking the score, so he saw one. So I said to the fan, I said to the fan, I said to the fan, listen, yo, when it's three, it's three a team under, you know. But he was not convinced because he just left it, so he could not believe that it was three. So you know what he said to me? He said, man said to me, I know three, you say, God, a seven. <laughs> a seven. People, you know what happened? So said, so done. It was heaven. <laughs> the man taking it for a joke and ended up getting seven. I'm telling you, he thought it was a joke. He thought it was a joke when I told him that his team was under three because he couldn't believe that the, um, the score had changed so rapidly but we have this hold on we have a caller caller welcome to IFJ Sports <laughs> what what going man why what you tell me me don't know what going <laughs> <laughs> you tell me what's going on uh, <laughs> tell me I'm not 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 yeah, man, talk to the people. Can you, tell the people your name. Because you're a Manchester United. Yeah, tell the people them. I am so and so. I am a Manchester United fan. And then you talk. Yeah. I mean, yeah, Mister Man, Mister United, in the comment, man. All right. Welcome to the show, Mister United. <laughs> <laughs> talk to me, Mister United. I don't know. I don't know. But all I can say is it, it was an half day, you know. It was an half day. You get yeah, seven. Yeah, you yeah. get you get seven. You call it an half day. That was not an half day. Well, that half, 
and half full day. Oh, that is better. <laughs> Yeah, that's right. <laughs> but, uh, I don't know, man. I just, you know what? They win the battle, but I don't think they're going to win the war. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah, because we don't think they're going to make it to the, to the, um, to the, um, the, the, what do you call it? The, them, them don't think they're going to get fourth place. We still yeah. going to finish above them. You really think you're going to finish above Liverpool? I may not think me know. Okay. Yeah. So you still have Manchester United in the top four over Liverpool. All right, the caller. We're, we're steps ahead of them, I think. You are? I didn't hear that. Hello? Yeah, man. Go ahead. Go ahead. We're hearing you, man. Oh no, I'm seven, I'm seven, I think we're seven points ahead of them. So you know it's gonna be hard for them to catch up. Okay. Okay. Yeah, yes. and, I mean let's see, let's see. I think it's a very close race still. You understand me? Yeah, but you know, man, man, Mr. Mediago call win lose or draw. So I'm just a beer man I'm reverse. So when my time comes, more people can come. All right, boss. Well, we have we have a couple of our guests in, so go and listen because we we'll soon get back to this. You understand me? But pick up yourself. Like, right. I will find soldier for me. I know him still last in the pool. <laughs> find soldier for me. Him gone seven feet underwater. So see if we can pull him up. All right. Yeah, man. All right. Bless up. Bless up. Bless up, Mister United. All right. All right, so we have a couple of our guests. We have um, come 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 on, are you there? We're not see I'm not seeing a camera. You're, you're I'm there? here. All right. All right. I'm, uh, yes, I'm I'm, okay. I'm actually in the car. Hi. You're in the car. All right. So we have Tony. Welcome. Um, bless up. Bless up. And we have we have Michael. Just so we have a lot of persons. So we're gonna work through some stuff now. But the first um. So, Tony, just I want you to, to listen. Michael, you're in women's football. So, I want you to listen to this issue and then we're going to come back to um, our, our EPL stuff. Um, come on, is part of Royal Lake. Royal Lake is one of the clubs in our Jamaica Women's Premier League here in Jamaica. And on, on Saturday, they had a game that they, 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 they had some issues. And so, she's here to share um, what, what happened. Um, um, at at the game, the, the, I think the game was in Montego Bay versus the the team mm -hmm. from I think Mob. What, what is the name of the Real team? Mobi. Real Mobi. Real Mobi. Real Mobi. So go ahead mm -hmm. and cheer, and we have Tony, and then Tony is going to come in because Tony is is extremely extremely happy because he supports Arsenal, and uh, <laughs> yeah. Well, go ahead. Um, come uh, if, on. I'm I'm. I'm I'm a Chelsea fan, so I'm I'm actually feeling Arsenal's pain from last season. Well, so, since you know, he can be happy. I mean, since you want to identify their club, let me can you do that as well. Come on, you Spurs. All right, moving uh, right. Oh on. my God, <laughs> a Spurs fan, you 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 corn. All right, so so good at good at never hear about that Spurs business, right? Let's continue. Yeah. All right. So, so good afternoon, everyone. So my sister actually is the head coach of Royal Lakes FC and she coaches St. Jacob High School. So I'm just a hanger on. I am the I am one of the unofficial sponsors because I am very passionate about women's football. Um, so we we have this. So the, the competition is a tier two. So the girls don't get paid. Right. Which is a problem in itself. So we were trying to get sponsors and I'm going to be honest. I think, I think Camon has uh, is frozen. Yeah. People really don't want this. Can you hear me? I don't yeah, want to. Yeah. I don't want to say this crappy because because they're trying, um, but the product is not what someone wants to invest their time and money in. That's what I've been getting when I ask for assistance. So for us, we have to travel, and the JFF said that they received a hundred thousand US dollars to to put into the league, which is ten teams. They have to pay referees. They have to have prize money, which is okay. So they gave $750,000 to each team. For me, when I saw it, I told my sister not to do it because 
if you run your house, you know $750,000 for um, traveling, food, preparation, security, everything for a league. Just, just won't work for a team. So we went ahead and we did it because we figured say, half a bullet is better than zero. And we want to get footage because I live in Maryland. Um, so I have a database with coaches. And what, what I try to do is link coaches to our players in Jamaica um, to get scholarships. So we, I wanted this opportunity to, to get footage of the ladies. So we said, all right, then let's go ahead and let's talk, butter, butter our way through it. So we got our schedule. And I'm going to be honest. We never look at the other zones. We don't care about the other zones. So we went into JFF's Excel spreadsheet and we took out our games and our schedules and our times and our location. And we made our own schedule. And we called this guy that we use who, it, if you know how much to go to Montego Bay, it is $80,000 to go to Montego Bay. Our guy gave us a $30,000 discount and $50,000 $50, he charges us. So our, our job was to give him the schedule in advance so that he could prepare. So that's what we did. We went ahead and we gave the ladies our schedule and whatever. So for us, on our, on our schedule, what the JFF gave us, the official schedule, we had West Powell, um, um Real Mobe was the home team, and we were the team that played 3 o'clock. That was our schedule. That's what we had. So we prepared. The ladies prepared. We, I mean, I'm telling you, I had to get up at 5 a.m. to cook their dinner, their, their lunch, 10 pound of mixed pot, 10 pound of chicken box in the coffin boxes. So we were up, we were prepared, we got there. When we, we got to the field, our, our starting level, so it's two transportation, the bus can hold everybody. And I'm sorry if I'm talking quickly because I'm very upset because Mr. Kemba's just sent an email. So we sent our starting level with our assistant coach in the bus. They got there at two o'clock. When we pulled up 50, 20 minutes later, the coach for Real Mobe asked us if we did not see the email that says that the game was one o'clock. So we asked him, what email was that? He said yesterday, at, when we looked at our email, we saw where the JFF sent the MC appointment at 3.34 p.m. Eastern Standard Time the day before the match. So we, 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 we asked him, did you get an official time change? He said no. The reason why he looked at the match commissioner report, and to be honest, we don't look at the match commissioner. We don't care who's the match commissioner. We want to know our opponents, the time and the venue. And even if we had seen the email, it would have been less than 24 hours, right, prior to the game. And what would we have done? So we, we went to the field. We heard that the referees called the game at 1.30. So right away, we started sending emails. Mr. Kemba did not respond. Nobody responded from the JFF. Um, so the coach of Real Mobe and Springers, who played after us, told us he saw the error. And from February 16, he has been emailing his parish president and the JFF to ask them about um, rescheduling or the correct schedule. Go ahead, go ahead, go right. ahead. Right. So he said, and up to, up to Saturday when we were at Montego Bay, nobody called to clarify the time mix up. So I reached out on, on Twitter to Karen Madden, who, you know, covers the, um, the sport. Karen Madden told me that she saw the error as well. She reached out to the JFF and the JFF sent her a match commissionary a commission appointment schedule. No updated schedules were sent to the clubs. We did not know anything about any match time. We had the official schedule for three o'clock. So I believe that if you're changing game time and venue, you were supposed to give 48 hours. Even if he sent the match commission report or whatever appointments, 3.34 the day before for a game on Saturday, it is less than 24 hours. So we, we sent an email to Mr. Kembo to ask a clarification. Mr. Kembo is going to tell us that um, even if you were not at the field 90 minutes before. So please look at this. So we are going to be fine and we're going to be dug three points, which is just ridiculous. We are a struggling club. Why we, we must we get fifty thousand dollars must pay for fine when it's something that was not our fault? I am so sorry. I am not taking responsibility because if the JFF had seen the error, they should have corrected the match schedule and they should have sent it out in an email that says change of time and we would have been there for a game but he did not so now they're trying to pass the book and i get it 
I really get it. The JFF does not care about the women's football. We're not have to have on blinkers to see that. They're like a Chinese stepchild, and we understand all of that. But do not make it harder for people who are trying to get it done. It, it, it is so difficult. You cannot have a, 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 a civil conversation with anybody from the JFF when you have a serious growth. We have not gotten our, because you know the 750000 we don't get it one time. We got the $350,000 and we're supposed to send receipts so we can get the next 200000 Years alone was $80,000, right? Every time we travel, it, 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 it's $50,000. Then we have to pay a toll because we have to drive the van. So I just think the JFF, they made a blunder and I am very disappointed that they are saying that we are the ones at fault when they actually sent us an official schedule with three o'clock. Yeah. All right. So how you think this matter maybe uh, should be resolved? Because you have lost the you're saying that you you, you have lost the, you have lost the points of the game. That's their ruling. You're going to be the no, not just that the ruling. The way, they have not gone to the spinner committee. I sent you the email. Okay. Mr. Kembley is saying that we must look at the the whatever to see, and that, and he's saying that we were not at the field ninety minutes prior. Prior to this to the to the three o'clock game either. Right. So he's saying right. that we got there at two o'clock, which is one hour. Mm -hmm. so, okay. So according to the rules, then they are saying that you the game the referee blew up the game, meaning you lost the game. Basically, that's what it is. But mm -hmm. your understanding is that there's a possibility that they are thinking about finding you fifty thousand Jamaican dollars. That's in the and, rules. And and on top of that, to also deduct three points in addition to the three points you'd have lost for the referee blowing off the game. Correct. All right. And the, what you are requesting is that it, because it is not your fault, the game should be, you should be given back your money for transportation and, and play the game. Yeah. If Listen, if, if, they, can't, if okay. they can't squeeze us in the picture, share the point. Because real Mobile don't have no points. Them can't catch me. So share the point. Worst case scenario, right, we share the points. Because for us, to find another 70,000. Well, if them give up the money, we can use the money and go back on Mobile. Let's just be honest. Um, okay. But that's what I want. So we don't want to lose the three points. If they want to be fair, they can share the points with Real Mobile and, 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 and Royal League. Um, and name the money. The mo we don't care about, at this point, whatever. Whatever can with the money. Um, but that's what I'm saying. I just think that it is unfair for you to dock us three points and the, in the rules, it does say that there's a fine. We cannot afford a fine. Okay. So it is actually in the rules. It's just that because it is not your fault, it, 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 it should not be. All right? Correct. Uh, and and, and you, you receive an email from the GFF, you said, stating that... Mr. Mr. Ian Kemble. Kemble, who is a competition. Um, he's the head of the competition. Head. Right. Mm -hmm. And he's actually saying, even if you thought it was for 3 o'clock, you you were supposed to get to the venue 90 minutes before the game, which would Correct. have been at 1.30, but you got there at 2.30. 2 o'clock. No, 2 o'clock. They are okay. starting 11 because two, starting 11 and the assistant coach got oh, there at 2 o'clock. Oh, because you use two transportation. Correct. Yeah, yeah. But I don't think the rule, though that is in the rule, you can't be deducted points as long as you're there for the game. So I don't think I don't think that reasoning is, is logical if, if that is from Mr. Like that don't make any sense. Be because it, it has to be based on the first the, the first time, which is one o'clock. It can't be based on the second time because no matter what time you get there, the as mm -hmm. long as all your proper paperwork are in place. And you feel your team would take the field, you can't be punished for that. So it would be you never turned up. And if it is incorrect, then I totally agree with you that the decision cannot be you lose the game, you get deducted three points, and on top of that, you 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 would have wasted money traveling, and then you have to pay them back fifty to pay a fine of fifty thousand dollars for, for, for not being there. So mm -hmm. um I'm hoping that we can get someone from the competitions committee to because we need to resolve this to kind of um, look into this and and work it out because like I said, um, female football don't get the kind of support 
Um, and yeah, this 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 is an issue. So I'm going to see if I can reach out to someone to hear their side of the story before we come to any sort of a judgment. I want to make sure that you have ventilated all that you want, you know, because a lot of persons are saying that it is double punishment. They are saying that it is a continuous disrespect for our female in football. All of these comment, right? Um, and they're and they're absolutely. Absolutely right. It doesn't. It, it don't take a blind man. Even the school children in England can see it. And 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 I'm telling you. I mean, I have to big up my friends. I have to big up my friends. Them who give me Gatorade powder, who cash up me fifty dollars to buy food, who get me buy shin guards, socks, shorts. I mean, like we want to see the game grow. And I'm telling you. I you know, there's so many credit cards that my max out to help kids to come to the college up here because I believe in the potential that I see on the field right now. And while we know that the money is hard to come by, we don't need roadblocks. We don't need yeah. to be fighting the JFF while we're trying to help the JFF. You see what I'm saying? So I, I just don't understand why it is so difficult for them to say, all right then, since we're not, be, we're not able to manage the men properly, let me find competent people to manage the women. We should be fundraising. And I am sorry if I saw, somebody said the other day that I sounded angry. I am angry. I'm going to tell you, I'm a woman who likes to be and go on my bed in my pajama. When I came back from that six-hour round trip from Montego Bay, I never even changed my clothes. I drop asleep in a mic because they'll be angry. Get up five o'clock, wash, cook, clean everything because I was so angry. We cannot treat, and I mean, let me tell you, this is why I, I, I love the ladies that come to Royal League. Most are students, most don't work. And if you see where we have to drop them off after training, you would shake your head. They have to beg bus fare, they have to come. Sometimes they don't eat. But because they think it's an opportunity for them to be seen, even by the national program or maybe college sports, they put the work in. How can you tell a young girl who is putting the work in day in, day out, that I am not going to believe in you and I'm not going to fight for you? That is my issue. So I don't want to have to fight the other little thing. Poverty, hunger, nutrition, poor field, and end up have to fight the JFF because I will fight the JFF. I am not my sister. They can't sanction me, right? I just need them to assist us to make sure that the women are given the support that they need and they're not getting the support. And that is where I am angry at them. And I'm not going to figure out Mr. Kemba and I'm not going to figure out Elaine Walker Brown. It is a collective. They're not JFF. It's a collective. And and, and you have like people coming out and talking about, um, somebody said yesterday they did not know that there was a women's football program going on in Jamaica. The JFF hardly post about them. What were the scores on Saturday? We can't find that. We don't know where, what, what it is. So we just need some assistance from the general public. Go to the lady games. And I even suggested to, what's his name, Mr. Proven William, uh, Mr. Williams. I said, yes, I, I, tweeted yeah. and I, said, I said, if we want to grow the women's game, make the double headers a triple header. Yeah. All right. So... Let me ask you this. If you were not able to fulfill you have a, a, fi a fixture, how, how mm -hmm. much notice? Because if you had to make a change, or after hours. Giving, so you, you have to give them 48 hours, but you're saying that they, they, they give you 24. Less uh, than 24. 3.34 than 24. p.m. Okay. to 1 o'clock is less than 20. And at 3.34, the ladies and the coach and the assistant coach, they were on the field training. So nobody saw the email. Okay, okay. All right. So we had to, so to, to in order for us to see the one o'clock, we would have to go into the match committee commissioner ap appointment email, go in the attachment, and listen, nobody cares who's refereeing these games. We don't care who's in the middle with a clipboard. We want to know who we're playing, who we go I beat and where. So I'm just saying it is unfair to, to get punished when the JFF actually dropped the ball. Because if a journalist can call you and say, listen, you made an error. Before you sent the, the, the match com um, commissioner assignment to Karen Madden, wouldn't you have gone into your Excel spreadsheet and corrected the check the time and then send the corrected um, schedule to the club and the coaches? It would be good, 
it will be good that you can get those things confirmed when you go to the appeal meeting that you have the actual dialogue with Karen Madden supporting I that have, argument. I, 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 she's on yeah. Twitter. I screenshot it. I, I mean, I was the one who, re and we tagged the JFF as well. Okay. All right. And if, and if, and if, and if the Springer's coach and the real Mobe coach want to come along and support us as ladies in the business, they can also tell you that they reached out from February to get yeah. clarification. If the decision stands as it is, could this mean relegation for Royal Lake as well? I mean, it could be. I mean, the ladies would be disappointed, but for me, I would just pull out of the competition because at this point, it is useless. We are fighting everything on the JFF. Okay. 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 All right. We're going. We're going. We're going to keep. We're going to keep track of this. We're going to check it out. And um, uh, right. Um, yeah. We, Mr. Tony. We, Mr. Tony, I see you shaking your head. You don't <laughs> agree with me. No, he's disappointed. Oh, I cannot believe that this kind of in ineptitude is happening. It's terrible. You know, I, I believe it. I believe it. Damien Law was told to go to the airport because there's a ticket, and he went there, and there was no ticket. Best believe it. I believe it. I'm not surprised anymore. Okay. All right. My, All right. Why, I, Tony? I'm, why? I, I'm not. I'm. I'm. I'm absolutely speechless. Yeah. Because for the National Association to be so inept is just it's disgraceful so, you know certain things that have to run and, and that, that they can't run that is just all right some, somebody in there needs to have their head rolled because you know you can't you it can't is. operate and let people people are putting their time and their money into facilitating the football and then this is what's going on that can run yeah I, I i thought like the chant because i i mean i run a team as well and one of the biggest issues that we have had is the cost for transportation and i always say that part of what the federation needs to do so i find it very difficult in an unsponsored league except like i said for seven hundred and fifty thousand. and if you if you do that by 10 games that's 75,000 per game when you have to travel different places. If, if out of the 10, you travel five times, that's, that, that money that you have, 75,000 for a game. And if you have five away games, the money is done on the first game. So That means there is a gap in terms of, of course, they're going to say the club should look for sponsorship, but it's very difficult given... Um, you know where the team is at but somebody's asking where they can follow the team on ig and asking where they can make a donation this is mr united uh how can they um he wants to make a donation to the royal league club do you have um how they can reach out to you um if you want i could send him a number you guys can communicate um, yeah you can you can sorry you can share my number but we are on yeah. ig at royal lake fc women so you can find us on ig royal lake jason, FC women. jason is going to find that um jason is our man in the comment section who will find that and send it and so Thanks, I, jason. I also believe that i'm going to reserve all judgment i do believe you but as a responsible person <laughs> i want to hear from the other side just to make sure that the sequence of event are mm -hmm. exactly as stated and they don't have you understand me that is a responsible thing to do though i i i, I, I understand 100 percent. and usually i listen i my my side hustle back home is so it, i'm a i'm a soccer referee right so, so i know about the logistics and the timing and coming to the field and the time that you need to tell them when you're not coming so i understand and i know how difficult it is you know, so I wouldn't come out and, 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 and be so angry and so vocal because I don't want to get my sister in any trouble because we all know that the JFF is petty and spiteful. So I don't want to get Kadish in any trouble. So I usually just sit back and allow things to kind of play out. But, you know, as, 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 as you know, um, Mr. Tony said, when we invest time and money and I go out there and I beg my friends them and I go out there and I tell the girls them, say, if you work hard, you're going to get, listen, 
we have to go out there and beg these parents to allow their children to come and play. But like the U20 tournament coming up, I don't think they're going to find any good or qualified U20 players because it's around CXD time. So when we go there and we have to ask the parents, can your daughter come and train two to three days a week? Can we pick them up? Can we drop them off by eight o'clock? Can we carry them to Mobe? Can we carry them to Moko? Can we carry them here and there? It is difficult to get the trust of these parents when it's, they're girls, right? So we have to go that now. So we have to be, you know, nurturing. We have to be, and as I'm telling you, the frustration is just fighting and the back and forth Mr. Campbell wants. All Mr. Campbell can say is, oops, we made an error. We apologize, but he's doubling down. And I don't think that is fair to us. Okay. All right, we're going to sort it out. Um, our, our resident attorney says this case is definitely a good candidate for an appeal. I don't know the league rules, but the present outcome sound inequitable. All right, and that is from our president. There is no, uh, uh, there's, there's 33 pages of the league rule, and funny enough, there's nothing that says how many hours you have to give notice from the team or, or the JFF to change venue, time, or anything. All right. Listen, come on. Thank you so, so much. We are going to be in touch. We're going to do some investigation, get somebody from the competition side on, and then hopefully we can get back in touch with you to have you on with them. All the best. I will pass on your information to Mr. United. I hope he'll give you a seven-digit um, contribution <laughs> that his team were, were, were you know, um, severely spunked yesterday by Liverpool. <laughs> so let's see what's yeah, I want a contribution, so I won't say anything else. <laughs> I, I agree. I agree. Thank you so much and enjoy. Thanks for having me on. Have a great afternoon, gentlemen. All right. Bye bye. All right. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Um, this, this whole football <laughs> thing sometimes is very difficult. But I think we have. So, Tony. I mean, welcome again to the show and thing. These are the issues that we battle with as it relates to football um, here locally. And it may, it may sound strange to you, but unfortunately, sometimes it feels like the reality um, that we live in in this space as it comes to football, though we have been seeing recently some changes. But on the women's side, it is, it is, it is, it is not good at all. We have to do better on the female side of the football in Jamaica. And because the, um, the other person we have today is actually someone who is also in the States and making significant contributions in helping grassroots women football because it's, 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 so, it's so bad. How is the women's sport in, in the United Kingdom uh, on the women's side uh, after England's recent success? Well, it appears to be thriving um the women's game uh seems to have um received a huge boost from the success at the euros by in england's women uh winning and uh so much so that yesterday england uh arsenal's women yesterday if you didn't know played chelsea's women in the in the uh the football league cup which is like the equivalent to the carabao cup yeah they played in the final and Arsenal won 3 1. They went 1 0 down in the first half, but yeah. came storming back to win 3 <laughs> 1. Um, so it's been a fantastic weekend if you're an Arsenal fan. Um, yeah. But yeah, especially, I, I, I especially, can, what yeah. Happened, especially based on what happened over at Wolverhampton Wanderers. It's yes. even more than that. Yeah. But I can empathize with uh, the, the young lady because I used to run. Um, two football teams, I was the manager, I was the coach, I was a player, all at the same time. And boy, I know how much hard work you have to do, you know, dealing with the, the league and fixtures and players and training and all sorts. Yeah, literally every day of the week, you have to do, you have to spend a couple of hours a day just dealing with certain things, you know, whether it be internal or external um so having done that for a number of years I, I i empathize with anybody who is involved in the sport who who comes across the hard work needed to keep this beautiful game that we love 
to continue because it, it requires that it re, you know it needs a lot of um effort and so when we hear about these kind of stories it does sadden me um but yeah sure uh, i wish i wish you yeah. guys all the best in getting this actions corrected yeah definitely definitely but arsenal arsenal are not leading the the double sl though i think it, it, it's no. manchester united Manchester United, Manchester City are second, Chelsea are third, Arsenal are fourth currently. Yeah, yeah. Uh, very strange because I expected them to be able to. Um, Khadija Bonishaw scored a hat-trick um, for Manchester City yesterday. Mm. Um, and they were down, I think, 1-0. They played Manchester United. I'm not yeah, sure if it's the Manchester I think they played Manchester United and defeated Manchester United 3-1. Uh, they, sure. they, they actually played... Spurs. Oh, they have to play at Spurs. Oh, <laughs> uh, not a good week for Spurs. <laughs> oh man! <laughs> All right, but um, we have Michael Johnson. Let me let me hear Tony. Listen, I want to talk about this whole um, <laughs> this this seven. But um, talk to me, Michael. What are you doing as it relates to women's football in Jamaica? Um, and listen to the the, the 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 plight of Kamon and Royal Leeds. I mean, what what are your thoughts? Uh, that was a lot to unpack, so I'm gonna leave that one alone for now. Um, so pretty much, and and hopefully, what I'm doing is gonna eliminate things like that from happening in the future. Um, so pretty much, let me give the people a quick background about myself. I think it's important for them to know who I am, and um, so I'm. From, hill from Granville Chelani in the in the um, beautiful little town three miles from Falmouth, right next to William Nib High School. Um, actually went to Herbert Morrison. So a lot of the folks that you have interviewed, I went to school with Hector Wright and grew up with Casman Williams. And one of my best friends here in the States is Silla Pringle. So I've been uh, I've been fan of the program. Enjoy you um, talking to all these fellas that I kind of grew up either playing with or kind of idolizing the older guys. So left Jamaica a long time ago, back in 87, after Herbert Morrison. Actually, I was left when I was in the end of my 10th grade year. And I, I lived in, in, in Connecticut for 27 years, recently moved to Charlotte, North Carolina, about 10 years ago. And I, I've been involved actively in, in, in football here in the States um, pretty much since 97. And um, I've coached at all different levels. Um, coach kids from three years old to the professional players, coach at the college level and both the men's and the women's side. Um, so my program actually was born in 2018 when uh, Coach Drew Menzies and Coach Lauren Donaldson invited me down to, um, to Kingston when the regular girls was in camp getting ready for uh, that final push to the World Cup. And I was sitting, ironically, at the hotel one day with that with Kanye Plummer and Bunny Shaw. And I was just looking around at all the girls that was in the camp. And it turned out we had like like 36 girls in camp and only five or six of them were actually Jamaican born and raised. So I wanted to kind of do something about that in the sense that I wanted to help the development of girls football um, in Jamaica. That's what I've been doing here in the States for the last 27 years. So I figured I need to do something about the development of girls football program in Jamaica. So I started um, the I Got Next program and, and the name kind of came about um, saying I Got Next into the national program. My goal is to when the current group of regular girls kind of aged out of the program, I want the next crop that's going to World Cup to be girls that are um, born and raised in, in Jamaica and learn the game in Jamaica. So that's where the program kind of started. Um, the program is growing rapidly. Uh, I did not expect it to grow as fast as, as it is right now. Our program is fully sponsored. We have, um, I work for a company called Quest. We're a business advisory firm, and we have a foundation called the Make an Impact Foundation that does a lot of philanthropy, a lot of work in the inner city communities here in the States across the entire country. So our, our foundation have actually adopted my program, and they're fully sponsoring it. So the goal of the program is to actually develop as many female soccer players as possible, um, so the way I'm going about doing it is identifying top players across the country, 
um, securing coaches in each parish. Right now we have um, girls in St. Elizabeth, West Milan, St. James, Trelawney. We're getting ready to get St. Mary on board and St. Catherine. So I identify coaches and my, my best friend in the world, Casman Williams, former national player, he's the one that's kind of spearheading everything on the ground, ground level down in Jamaica. So we identify coaches in different parishes and kind of get the programs together. And we kind of finance these coaches in running um, by monthly practice sessions. We finance the girls with uniforms and stipend for, for lunch for the day when they train. Uh, we're getting sponsorship of local, rest, local restaurants, actually provide meals for the girls on training days. And, um, and right now it's going amazingly right now. Another big part of the program is to try and get as many girls college scholarships to come to the States. So what I did was I, I created a camp, a college showcase ID camp here in the States. Which, uh, the inaugural camp is gonna be on um, June 12th to the 15th in, in um, Huntersville, Charlotte, North Carolina. And we're bringing up eight girls from our program in Jamaica to the States, fully sponsored. They get to perform in a camp in front of a lot of college coaches, and not only our camp, but they're also gonna go to a college camp and perform in front of tens and um, maybe 30, 40 college coaches. We're taking them on a tour of colleges from, say, North Carolina up to Delaware. We'll, we'll visit about six or so colleges. They'll meet with admissions counselors and kind of get a better understanding as to what the, um, the requirements are to be eligible to get college scholarships here in the States. Mm -hmm. I have a college counselor coming to the camp to speak with them. All of the sessions that are at our camp here in, in Charlotte is going to be run by college coaches. We have um, um, local club coaches coming in to run sessions. The girls have been invited to go to different clubs and, and play with the clubs there. And so there's a lot of things going on with this program right now. And it's um, one of the greatest things that's happened recently as far as my vision to grow, to be a, a small part of the growth of um, female soccer in Jamaica is um, I was recently appointed as a board member to the Reggae Girl Foundation. Uh, so what that means is I'm going to be um, using my expertise primarily as a, as a marketing and fundraising person and, and try to generate as much funds as possible for the Reggae Girl Foundation to pour into female soccer in Jamaica. And at the same time, they're going to adopt um, I Got Next program underneath their umbrella and, and kind of just grow and, and help the, the, the Jamaica female program um, as, as one, one unit. Okay. Um, I notice um, when you're listing out where you have, you say you have in Trelawney, St. James, Westmoreland. Um, are you trying to get uh and, and St. Elizabeth? And St. Elizabeth, those, those are the four areas you have Hanover. Not not Hanover yet. So what the, the way we kind of um my goal is to have um a footprint in all 14 parishes in short order. Okay. So what I'm doing is identifying um female soccer coaches um to bring aboard, and then their kids just come along with them as far as um uh, we just brought Clarendon down aboard and um, um, Kanye Plummer happens to be the captain for the regular girls who's from St. Mary. She just introduced me to her coach in St. Mary and we are bringing them aboard as well. So any female soccer coach in any of the 14 parishes that would like to be um, a part of our program, just have to reach out to me and, um, and we'll get them um, set up and, and, and um, get them under our umbrella and, and do all the financing. That. Okay, so basically what you're saying is that if you are a coach and you already have female players that you're coaching, reach out to you. They will come under the I Got Next organization. You will yes. supply them with gears, yes. which is shin guard socks. Um, training kit, training kit, um, training, training kit. day stipend for, for lunch. Um, training day stipend. Okay. Yeah, we'll, and we're trying to get... Um, um, local restaurants in each parish to kind of jump on board as sponsors and their, their, their responsibility is just to provide the, the kids with a, with lunch on the day when they practice, which is like every other Saturday. Okay. So you don't have any incentive on yet? No, uh, which is our neighboring parish. So uh, the goal is to, I'm, I'm coming down uh, March 6th and uh, not March, it's April 6th for a, a okay. big session. We're doing a big session with um, Westmoreland, St. Elizabeth, St. James, Trelawney, and hopefully sent me. I want to do one big session with all those parishes. And the goal is I mean, I'm going to travel to different um, parishes and try to meet with football coaches on the female side and try to get, like, I literally, I want to get every single parish underneath our umbrella. 
Okay, so you, you okay, all right. So I'll find out from the center. I'm in the center here, so I can find out from them. But um, sound like a very good thing. We just had some um, what I'd call negative concern in women's football, but here it is. We have we also have to bring some balance. We have some positive. I see Neil here saying um, that we need to link you with Daniel England because DE has a foundation that helps track athletes to get scholarship to U.S. colleges. So that's somebody that he's saying that you could you could you could connect. Um, with as well and you said this program started from 2018 sounds sounds very good this is the kind of initiative that we want and i've seen i have seen the team like at games operating as what you call um ball girls yes and, uh, yeah they're 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 and and they also attended that reggae girls game against paraguay in montego yes. bay yeah i mean lots of them were there and i mean look um and they were well attired in terms yeah. of the equipment and stuff. Yeah, so we, that, came out, we came out strong at the Reggae Girls Paraguay game in Montego Bay. We had a lot of kids there fully kitted out. Um, they provided different um, pregame, part of the pregame festivities for the, for the, for the girls. And um, the, the Jamaica on the 20s just had a um, call up a for local camp this past yeah. weekend. And we had I think four or five girls from our program was called into that, in, into that camp. So we're looking to... Um, to kind from, of from which one part? From yeah, those five were from Chilani. No, we had um four from um three from Montego Bay. I believe there's one from Clarendon and one from from Saint Catherine. Okay, okay, okay. So you also are in Saint Catherine. So we we have so one of the coaches that's um one of the local coaches in Jamaica that's a part of that's that's a big contributor to our program is um Tashana Vincent who was a uh, formerly the coach of the U15 team. So right. she kind of um she's helping us. Kind of connect and touch base with the girls up in the St. Catherine area. Um, also, okay, this, this 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 lady come on. Her sister played for the national team. Was with the under fifteen team that went to China or Japan, one of those places. Yes, um, this is China. somebody right, right, China. So she, her, the coach for this Royal League team also was a part of that. So maybe yeah. that's somebody else that you could connect with because they they have some resources, but they always need. Uh, maybe they can come under the same organization as well because they are in the school. They, they start in the school. So this, the team is actually the St. Diego High School team per se. So it's really kids yes. that they yeah. use playing against adult women um, for the most part, although some of the other teams have, yeah. And, and that's, um, mostly, that's most of the way it's structured. Like most of the girls from our program are from like school. Like we have multiple for a team. We have like Lacavia, Lacavia like it says pronounced Lacavia High School. We have um, 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 Montego B High School. Then we have girls coming from uh, Glen Muir and um, girls from, I recently spoke with the coach at Campadon, who's a former Chilani Heights. Um, we're trying to get um, the, that oh, entire Keegan. team on board. Um, uh, Kevin Keegan is, um, yeah. uh, um, who I'm sure you are familiar with, is a yeah, Keegan, yeah. lifelong childhood friend of mine. We went to all his school together. Um, um, just, just so you know, between me and you, Mr. Saladin, all the time. Don't, don't tell him. Well, well, we, we, <laughs> we, we have heard about Kevin Keegan in the ball circle. We never hear about a Michael Johnson. So, you know, we're, we're, hey, that's only because I left Jamaica at a young age. We tell him all the time. Well, excuses, hey, excuses, them excuses. Them always make fun of me. Them always make fun of me. Charlie Da Silva, Kevin Keegan, Hector Wright. I mean, them always make fun of me because I left at a young age. So I didn't get a chance to make my mark down there. But if I hadn't left, I would have made a mark. Oh, so well, I'm you trying to make my mark, mark in a different way. You don't think you could have made your mark where you were? I, I, I'm trying to make my mark in a different way. I'm too old oh, now. So, okay. so it's, okay. it's like, you know, okay. trying to make my mark from a different perspective. There you, know? you go. Um, All right, but but yeah. I, I mean I can connect you, like I said, to the to, to the um the young lady from Royal League, if it is something that could come under it, and then I'll also seek out who is in Saint Anne doing that. That maybe when you come, you can make initial yes. contact with them because I think this is a wonderful program. To because the more girls you have playing, it is the wider your pool will be. And um, like 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 they said about Royal League, it is true that when they bring home some of these ladies, the places that they have to go to go back home. You wonder sometimes if girls should be living in those spaces, but I'm fully familiar with that. We have girls yeah, in Trelawney yeah. that we when we when we went to the Paraguay game at, at Captain All and we were heading back to Trelawney, like so we had to like I didn't want to bring all the girls to Falmouth and then have to find their way because it's night. So we I had the bus that I chartered drive them to their houses and some of the places we went to it was like whoa. So I definitely understand that. Um and that's why. 
So in my humble opinion, so having like a million different organization trying to do the same thing doesn't really get the job done. So if we have um, our program, which is um, which is really well financed, and we have all these other programs across the country where there's high school teams just kind of come underneath the one umbrella and we just grow together and continue to um to uh, we have the, like I said we have the regular foundation um, behind us as a as a sponsor right now and, and uh, they're going to take um take us under their wings and like I said my specialty is is, is marketing and sales and I, I will be getting much more many many more sponsors to jump aboard and 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 help us grow the program the way I want to grow it so it, it, it's 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 it behoove all the, the local coaches down in Jamaica that are running female soccer programs just come aboard and just let us all grow together. Well, kudos to you. I think that is tremendous. That 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 is tremendous. Um, looking forward to it. Like I said, I will I will see if there is something that can be organized on the female side to to so so you can you know um, incent on. But kudos yeah. to you and, and, and all the best on this venture. Like I've seen highlights of it and, and it does look properly organized and well run. And, so, and feel free to share, feel free to share my uh, my contact info with anyone that would like to touch base and, and definitely, definitely. Listen, thank you, Mr. Johnson. Always good talking to you, man. Um looking forward to, to hearing more about I got next. Um, right. yeah, man. Bless you. Have a wonderful day. Respect. Yeah, man. All right, so 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 there you go, people. A little negative, a little positive. All right, and then we're gonna have a little fun, right? Um, exciting weekend of, of EPL football, and let's start at the at the end, and we get to the beginning. Yesterday, uh, Manchester United, the last game of the weekend. Well, th there is one today. In fact, the Fulham game is is Fulham versus Brentford. I believe is today. West London derby. West London Derby, but um, yes, so let's get back to the bantering, and um, <laughs> Liverpool, Tony, I mean, you watch the game, what, what, what happened? Liverpool versus Manchester, Demo, um, you know you can always call in, Soti, you can call in when you're ready, um, but go ahead, talk to us, Tony, what, what happened? I mean, all I can say is abject defending abject defending and you know what the funny thing is Arsenal did the same thing abject defending the two goals Arsenal conceded against Bournemouth on the Saturday were the result of abject defending Man United actually uh, the first goal was just opportunist because there was a ricochet that fell nicely into the path of um, Salah and he finished that beautifully. But from then on, abject defending. It was literally just one after the other, after the other. And you suddenly, when the goals started going in regularly, you kind of think, is anybody here actually defending? <laughs> it literally was like, you know, at some point in time, you have to go, who's defending? Now, I know... I shouldn't be throwing stones from Glass House because we've been abject defending for several years with Socrates and Mustafi, but boy, we never was doing what Manchester United was doing yesterday and we wasn't certainly doing it with the, the, the calibre of players that they have because that's what you have to look at. If you're defending with Socrates and Mustafi, you can blame that kind of abject defending on the fact that they're in, inadequate defenders. But they are world-class defenders on the bench as well. At some point, yeah, it was Gakpo first, yeah. Um, the Gakpo goal was actually quite nice too. Yeah, but he the Salah him. goal, him, yeah. that was nice. That was that was opportunist. But the Gakpo goal was, 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 was just a great footballing move. Um, wow. Um, so yeah, you know, it was just like, what? Again? And again? And again? And it got to the point where, you know, they got to six and I was like, talking to my friend saying, what your next one is going to come? And lo and behold, boom! <laughs> Two minutes after I said it, a next one come. 
So yeah, it was fun to watch because oh, you know them man there, them man United man love run them out. And... <laughs> yeah, I, 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 let me let me just bring Demo. Demo is on. Demo is a Liverpool fan. Demo, I got yes, ask sir. You. Yeah, yeah, man, you're 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 cautiously optimistic that you would win the game. I think you had predicted three. No, I said we wouldn't lose the game. Yeah, you wouldn't lose. Yeah, the game. I said we, we will not lose the game, but I picked a two-all draw. But we were yeah. not, we weren't gonna lose that game. Yeah, I know some people are giving you a hard time saying that they didn't have any confidence in your team. But go ahead and, and talk to me. What what, Listen, what is your for, take on this game? first of all? Me just have. I just you know when this work out perfect because I just have seven minutes before I have to go back up to work. Right? <laughs> <laughs> it, 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 it just work out so perfect. <laughs> so I'm gonna try and make this fast. You see, oh Manchester United, you remember the what the guy named who you have on with me? I say, oh, he might go the game from Saturday, I'm gonna drive soldier, the soldier. Oh, soldier. oh I'm not call it. I'm I'm waiting on him. A, I'm waiting on soldier. I'm wondering if he's still in the pool. But I understand the man them was so confident. Like they never come at Anfield, come come dominate. And me tell you on the show, man is man. We have gotten a manager sacked at Anfield. We will sack managers when them come there from money, right? And they, they were so confident. And I mean, maybe rightly so. But Manchester United are not not what you call it. Um, they're not like say them immune to these big scores. Think this season them get six three from City. Um, or 6-2, what was it? I remember what the scoreline was. They got six from City. Then I think Bournemouth beat them four. Back in other days, them get 6-1 from Spurs and them get the next six. Like, like they're, not, you, they're not immune to these things. But that game yesterday, man, is, man I almost lost my voice. Zine, because I, I ended up, I had to watch church online because I could, could, could go to church Um, the, the Sunday. So after I watched church and thing and ready and up for the game. And I heard all the Manchester United people who bet, oh, yeah, man, put put um, put all your money pan pan man, man you and over 2.5 and these kind of things. And them confidence in the boss. Confidence in them are going to be I'm like, but for all of the tactical knows, when them said this Ten Hag brother have, he was the one who threw away the game. Because there is no way you can come in a game we well, you know, say Marcus Rashford is in the form of his life. He plays so well on the left hand side where Trent is going Trent. to be. Exactly. And oh, you I start can't... the man down the middle. The middle. Yeah, and you put Bruno Fernandez on the side. Did that make sense? So all this tactical greatness that the man have, and to be fair to them, the first half was kind of even. I mean, we were playing the better football, but they had the better chances. Because if you remember. I think Bruno had that back post header from Trent to barely blow past the post. And I think Luke Shaw played a great ball over to Rashford through the middle and he never controlled it properly. And it went to Allison. So they had two other more clear cut chances. But you see, once that first goal went in, Manning's man, and the atmosphere and, and Anfield just lift off. First of all, that coach both say before the game, he's like, Oh, Anfield is just another place. The pitch is still is the same as anywhere else. The crowd is still the same. And all of this one bag and No, you know, shut up. Shut up and go on home. Every <laughs> time a coach come and disrespect the Anfield arena and this and that, them get flogged. Apart from, obviously, Carlo Ancelotti. But we don't want to talk about that. This is not, this is not time for Carlo. And the man are going the most. Then they have rate up this, this where name? Where, where, where you name? Let me take off my camera and show you. Him, what's name? The brother there, right? Listen, <laughs> Lissardo Martinez, or what? The butcher. Them say him the butcher. What? What's Salah do to him? The man must have slide gone all the way back to Ajax, the way you Salah deal with the man. Man is man, we were absolute. This is a whole season of frustration. Just pile out another game. Yeah. That's the best way I can explain it. A whole season of frustration. Or it was poor. We have more intensity. We, we were winning every second ball. Man is man. We won the second half 6 nil. You know? One yeah, that, half of football yeah, was worth that, six that, goal. That, that was strange. And I, my, my thing with Ten Hag is that once it gets to four, you have to say to your team, listen, whatever we're doing, this team should not score any more goals than us. Lock shop. Crazy. You cannot afford 
as a Manchester United. I had the same problem years ago when Arsenal went to Manchester United and we got A2. Mark you, we had a lot of young players and a lot of players were injured. And I mm. felt like Arsene Wenger, when it got to four, he never tried to like stop them from scoring. He still played the woman like he could still win the game. At yes. Point, like Ten Hag still believe that he could win the game. I mean, I mean, I know what kind of arrogance and disrespect. You could not have conceded seven. You could what have kind of arrogance and disrespect you are for, for be like, and you know what, Bright? The man the man start bring on Ilanga and Garnacho and these man for I mean he brought he brought Matamani on sure, fine, whatever. But what we are bring on the youth them for, for suffer this embarrassing defeat. You, you just a kill you them confidence. Like, why would you bring them on? Make the man them who cause all of this problem stay on and dead with the team. Don't don't bring on the youth to come and suffer that. That that is ridiculous. I'm a, like Bruno Fernandez. Like me, me hear me hear them call him a rat. And I mean, I, I personally rated this guy from Sporting. I went to watch him live when he came here in in New York. Right. I'm going to rate him from... But we must see how the man play and a dive and, and all of these things and a moan to the referee for every little thing. I mean, like, bro, what, what is happening? Like, get up and go play football. But he I, was listen. asking to be substituted, man. No, when no, he team. wasn't. He wasn't. He wasn't. He Isn't wasn't. that what the Manchester... Um, no, shoot. man. He was actually asking what his, his position would be after some changes. He wasn't... He wasn't asking oh, to be I think, was it Gary Neville who said he was asking to be substituted and Listen, was not happy about it? <laughs> no, man. Them, 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 man, they just talk, right? But but for me, like I said, man, is, man, a whole season of frustration pilot. I'm going to want the Man U fans come to me and, oh, but Liverpool, they get 7-2 against Aston Villa. And I don't care. I don't care. Well, I'm talking about this Manchester game. United fans says, Man U for life. You guys still not in our league. Well, all right, so man, man is man. I don't know if you if you want to show what the the truth is. Um, no, comparisons are like right now. You'd have to come and explain to me. No, no, because that 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 really don't make any sense. Because yeah. we actually have more trophies than him. We have been more success more successful in the last what four five years. Like me, me not understand that don't make no sense. We mean when in a league, if if we are not in your league and we give you several love, like what what that mean? What are you? <laughs> That that doesn't make no sense. We're not we in the league. Play. I would smash a seven nil. That's embarrassing. So we so you need to explain what you mean by who's it, not in Manu's league. But uh, that's the thing with these Manchester United fans. Yeah, and say that. The this man them not... annoying, you know. <laughs> the man them them don't have no set like they're coming out and they're saying, oh, but it's just it's just one game and, and, and it, it don't matter in the whole context of the season. Don't tell me that because I am going to tell you this might just be three points, but people will remember the several love more than them remember say just three points. We're not, we're not asking. Oh, yeah, go, go ahead. ahead. Sorry, boss. Sorry, boss. So what Ricky Teng is trying to do <laughs> is what all those Man United fans do. They... they, they they had their good years, yeah, under Sir Alex Ferguson. Yep. But now they try to use those years to try to put themselves on a pedestal above everybody else. Every yep. time you talk to a Man United fan, is that pedestal they're bringing up. Oh, but we won this and we won that and we won this and you're not realizing. Yeah, but you know what? Your team was in the second division 20 years ago. <laughs> Mm. struggling, yeah, and respect to, to Alex, yes, you did a thing, yep. yeah, you fought two for nail with, with Wenger, mm. and more often than not, you got the better of him, but let's not, get, let's not, you know, forget that Liverpool, <laughs> you so you was nothing, you was dirt <laughs> on, their, on their foot <laughs> at one time, <laughs> They're so disrespectful. But man, is my like I say, I only had seven minutes and, and I know the time expired. So I'm going to just say this before before I go. Like I said, I'm going to just say this. I, want, like, I mean, I think I've done it before, probably like a month ago. I just want to public apol publicly apologize again to Darwin Nunes. I'm telling you, no man, is man. The guy has grown on me so much. <laughs> over the last couple months that I am publicly no but, but I already did it on your show probably like a month or two ago when we come and say you know I, I, I apologize 
I gave him his stick early up in the season. But listen, the guy was immense. He was amazing. I want everybody who love talk about Trent, but please come give Trent him credit because again, when it's him can't defend him this in that Trent Alexander Arnold is a generational talent and the best right back after Danny Alves and Kafu and them man. All right. So 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 we no. I only had seven minutes, man. Is man. I only had seven minutes, man. Is man, I had to go upstairs because I have a seven up up there and I need to go and drink the seven up. All right, so big up this we, we seven. <laughs> so, I, I can't agree with Nemo on that trench thing. Uh, Trent, Trent, it, it was a, Trent is the best right back behind Daddy Alves and those guys. Come on, yeah, we have a Manchester United fan. On the phone here. Ah, uh, seven. What's going on? Yeah, man, I'm here. I'm here. I'm here. Talk to me. What, what happened yesterday? How do you feel? I feel good. Feel good and great. Huh? huh? I feel good and great. Which team you support? I don't support the team. I own Manchester United. <laughs> <laughs> and you feel good of it. Explain that to the car. Yeah, I feel good of it. I feel good of it because, you know, me in a so much league and, you know, me, me tired. Me tired. Me what, I'm tired. What an excuse. We can't have a bad day. Ain't nothing wrong with having a bad day. So, so hold on, hold on. You are saying it's because you're playing Europa League, FA Cup, Premier League, and the... And the Carbo Cup that is done. Yeah. yeah. Why you lost the game? You're tired. Yeah, my, my main player, them tired, them weary. So Liverpool don't play all of those competitions? Nah. Oh, you mean Liverpool in Champions League and just lost to Real Madrid? <laughs> yeah, Champions League, them they're in the Champions League. Why are you saying they they, 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 just, they just got knocked out of the FA Cup. And they were in the Carabao Cup as well. So they, they play all the competition. That, and they had way more injuries what, than, than you this season, to be fair to Liverpool. That was that that's that were man. That's where you're talking about. We're not talking about where I'm talking about what we're in. My last, I'm a last, my last. I not, not have no problem with my last. Me take my losses. I have no problem. My side still a better side. What? I mean what? My side still a better side. Don't, no, no, don't, don't get too much of yourself. I'm a better Arsenal, you know. What? what? Not because you're not leading. Hold on. All right, break down. Okay. Listen, I'm gonna give you time to break down. You being better than Arsenal, and you getting seven and still being the better side. Go ahead, break it down for us. <laughs> I want to learn. Ain't nothing to break down. Me, me are the better team overall. On a, on a, on a, on a, on a just in a, a, a moment of right now, you know. <laughs> we're just in a moment of right now, right now we're not much in the league, you know. So, cause you know, what, the time when it touch this time of year, this part of the season, Arsenal always falter. All so, right. just keep your finger crossed. I hope you can keep it up, man. Right. Carla, I want you to listen to. I want you to listen to Tony. Tony is going to give you some wise advice. Tony, the caller said that Manchester United is the better team. Go ahead and tell Tony. You should have just played um, the, the clip that you played earlier. <laughs> English Premier League. Manchester United. Carla, you cannot say that Manchester United are the better team. You play Arsenal two times. We won one, you won one. We are eleven okay, points. Good. We are eleven points ahead of you. We have scored more goals than you, conceded less goals than you. What makes you believe that you're better than us? All right, let me give you one example. One example. Um, where you coach them again? Arteta. Um, Arteta. 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 Arteta have that team for almost three seasons now. A six to nine month since 
Ten Hag have this team. And what he's doing with this team within this time, you should be very proud of him. The yeah, Arteta that got true. that team That's true. those three seasons. And we come out of the yard and go down a fight like that. And you should be ashamed of yourself. What? So when you talk to me, you have to talk to me with, you have to talk to me with respect for my name. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, no. <laughs> All right, hold on, Carla. Tony, have to answer Carla, you. Wait, wait. You remember Arteta in his first season? No, no. Him not win the, the FA Cup. Talk no, he don't. Both, both yeah. The man not win nothing yet. Talk to me when we when when you yeah. win when when you yeah, win well, the FA they, Cup. They just they just defeated Newcastle. Me just win a trophy. Me just yeah. win. Me just win Carbial Cup. And a little piece trophy you win. One mug, call you one mug then. Marie, one mug. Uh, Carlo, while I will agree with you, you know, that Ten Hag has done well, right? I have no problems with that. Ten Hag has done well. You cannot look at this season and say that Manchester United, at any point of the season, has been better than Arsenal. Uno, 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 uno have a, uno, uno have a better, uno have a better run. That way, that's what I have. <laughs> but if you look for the game, they want to win, and 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 how to play or how to win this game. Tell me now, if me now win my game, then better than how you are win your game, them. No, Carla, what are you talking about? No. You mean what me talking about? Score more goals. Yes, yes, you no score more goal. I Meaning you no score more goal. But what kind of goal? From what kind of team? What do you mean we're scoring every team? Every team. And the same teams we play, you know. Yeah. We are the same league. <laughs> yeah, we know we play the whole team, but what I'm saying, the team they won't give them four and then three. We don't can't give them Liverpool or no man, you are no city or no Bramford or no Castle and then good team that then Chelsea then then hold it for score there. I did you watch Arsenal versus Chelsea and Arsenal versus Tottenham? We beat we beat Liverpool. We beat Tottenham. <coughs> we beat Chelsea. We also beat City. We also beat United this season. No, you don't beat City. You don't beat City. Of course you beat City. No, no, we're not we beat City yet. In the FA Cup. No, that was last no, you season. Don't. Eh? Uh, last season that was last, last season, season that part. Last season. <laughs> you know, beat City, you know, beat City yeah. this season. Last season, yeah. Uh, how, how much did City give you? Were you more convincing against City than Arsenal? City, 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 City beat me. It was more. My third game. It was my third game. Oh, yeah. And I'm a fourth game. So how much? No, my team never did. Yeah, then you were six. Six, three. Six, three. It was six, three. Yeah. How much Liverpool lick you by? <laughs> seven. Hush up. <laughs> when you catch no. seven, you must hush up. No, money is man. Money is man. You can't can 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 you can you can To be fair to Liverpool, if Liverpool didn't have so many injuries, I think they would be better positioned. To be fair to them. But, but hold on, money is man. I just All want right. to clarify the first. You can just ask him, what is he saying? In terms of him being the better side over Liverpool, is it trophies? Ask him if it's trophies first. Because yeah, no, 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 general, it's not trophy. It's not trophy. The who, all right. So you are tell me, the Liverpool are play a better ball, are we this season? No, but but I never this season. You say you say you are the better side. I, I am the better side. but at this season, me a table. Me not table last season. Last season, me ain't nobody. Oh, oh, okay, okay. Yeah, that's make you miss that slide. All right, you're the better side this season. I thought him, I'm thinking him better about no. overall. Oh, if City... No, man, no, if, no, no. So, so if, if, I if, first if, get a coach, you know. if Liverpool... I first may ever get a coach from Sir Alex Levy, you know. I first may get a coach. What Everybody has did a try at it. From Alex, didn't, was, didn't Marino win something for you? Yeah, Marino, but, 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 but Marino never did a deal with the side, right? It's not what you're winning, you know. Is how oh, you cut the team. A team where a team where Marino got it, and, and, you know, as a coach like him, he should win something with the team where uh, but he don't know if he, if he keep a unit. That's why that's why beat Marino. I best coaches we get from Sir Alex. Man. 
put the site together, make it look like a one site. So, would you have this if, if Liverpool finish ahead of you, would you have the same level of confidence? No, 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 May I tell you that? But then you get too much of yourself because I'm telling you no easy a fighter. You don't have no faith. All right. But I'm telling you to win the league, but you don't better make sure you don't even make it for top four. You know? <laughs> Carla, we make top four already. All right, Mr. Carla, Carla, enjoy, 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 enjoy the rest of your day. Uh, we'll see you at the end of the league. <laughs> <laughs> right now, yeah, man, you will see me. I'm going to start with you on a live call. Let me see me. I'm fully Manchester United suit right now, you know. Fully out. Yeah, fully. Tell you that. No, next time we're going to send you the link so you can show the people how you dress after your team lose. I when you win, man. I when you lose. I win. It's when you lose. And then tell me just crazy, man. Because I'm proud of my team. I'm proud right. of my team. All right, Carla, we're going to let Tony. Tony have to run, so we're going to let Tony. Uh, we have a couple of calls coming in. But uh, big up yourself. All right, you have a great day, sir. Yeah. Enjoy yourself. Blessed. <laughs> All right, blessed love. All right, Tony, go ahead, because I know you have to you have to run soon. Yes. No, man, I was just enjoying. I was enjoying, you know. Look, all Man United fans, drop on the pants, because you have to take your legs. Yeah. We've been, yeah, we've, been we've been on the receiving end for many Hold years, and now it's our time to to give the licks them. Yeah, we're having the best season in a very long time for some of our younger fans. The best season they've ever seen. I'm old man, so I've seen I've seen the promised land. I've seen I've seen the greatest of the great. Henri Bergkamp, Ian Wright, um, you name it, Perez, Ashley Cole. I've seen the best of the best at Arsenal. But now the youngsters are getting a look and they're seeing an unbelievable season. I hope it finishes with, with a league title. Um, but yeah, listen, all you Man United fans, Tony, Tony. because Tony. we took them before. Go ahead. I, I don't want you to leave without, you know, giving me like a minute about the Arsenal Bournemouth game. We just want to hear your, your reaction and, and stuff. All right. Carla, we soon come to you here. You can hold on. Yeah, that man, back, man. All right, just watch it. All right, go ahead, because Tony going to run, so let him respond to so, the emo question. The Bournemouth game which I attended was uh, an emotional game because it was a game of frustration. As I said about the, the goals that we conceded, it was it was defensively poor. Um, you know, to concede one goal in nine nine seconds and the second goal in the second half, the way we did, they were soft goals. But I was totally encouraged by the fact that there was so much time remaining in the game that I felt we could easily score goals. And we were knocking. We were we were laying siege on the Bournemouth goal. And I was totally in belief that this team had the resilience and the endeavour to go ahead and, and, and score the goals necessary. So when Thomas Partey got the first, I was elated. The whole crowd, the, the atmosphere was superb in the stadium. I can't tell you. You know one of them feelings when you're hugging up people and you don't you know who you don't even know who you're hugging up. And when we got to the 90th minute, or just before that, I said to Apollo, I said, Apollo, if they don't give us 10 minutes injury time, it's a travesty. And then a man hold up the six-minute board. I said, You see how they're trying to cheat us? Because I counted, I was I was diligently looking at the the the, the incidences of of the of the game being stopped. So if you count the substitutions um and you count the, the injuries, there's definitely more than six minutes. But when that came up, I was like, okay, this is it. Here we go. And it reminded me of the game last year at home to Wolves where we did the same thing. We scored in the last minute of injury time. But this one felt sweeter because it is in a it's in a title run um season. And the man in front of me was walking out with his son. 
I said to him, I tapped him on the shoulder, said, don't leave. We're going to score. I think he was leaving on about the 93rd minute. And you know, some people, they always leave because they want to get out before the, the crowd start rushing out. But I said to him, don't leave. We're going to score. And lo and behold, boy, Reese Nelson, when he put that ball in, the uproar, the, the, the oh my God, the emotions, tears came to my eyes. If you see my video, I had tears in my eyes. It was like, what a feeling. And yeah, it's them kind of wins that make you love football. Yeah. All right, Nemo, Tony, listen, I know you have to run, so man, thank you so, so much for coming on. We, we have a call you. online as well. Yeah, man, keep on listening, you. man, and, and, and spread the word. Tell them to check in. I am sure sports, the Gunners, man, in Jamaica here. All right, respect, Tony. And people, 101 and Arsenal is where Tony and Apollo and all those guys are at. Check them out as well. Nice, nice show. Carla, which team you support and talk to us? You'll never walk alone, you. <laughs> All right, so you and Nemo can talk then. I will listen to both. Big up, big up, big up. Yo, Nemo, Fabi, man. Oh, oh, big up, Fabi, Frano. Big up yourself, <laughs> man. <laughs> so, we do the kind of one address the, the, the caller before, the man you brother. The yeah. You think that it was the man you tired and all that. Yo, I'm not buying that. I'm not buying that, brother. Because school, you come out and talk about quadruple. I mean, it's not the it's not the highest quadruple because and the Champions League and the Premier League is not the highest, but it's a quadruple, whether or not, you see me? But on top of that, bear in mind, Liverpool was going for the same thing last year. We played over City games, you see me? We were in three finals, and if you want to count the Premier League as a final because it was one point really and truly, you see me? So we were on our front, you see me? So when a man had turned up and said I'm tired in the middle of the season, and I buy that. You know by that, you don't play 60 games yet or over 60 games. I just about tired. No, I remember we went away and played in a game um, in the Saudi area and came back and played later and give them four years. We could have turned around and told them to retire from all the flights. <laughs> yeah. So, I don't know by that thing about man, you tired. Tired away, man. I don't buy that. Especially when you have a rival, you are tired. Fatigue no work, brother. Fatigue no work. You see me? I mean, can imagine the thing had probably give them a proper dressing because that was embarrassing. But, but, Fabi, Fabi, you know, you know, you know, you know, yeah. I'm not by this tired thing because first half, Manchester United were right in the game. Like I say, I think they got the clearer yeah. chances, but we there play better. So, yeah. they can't yeah. to them be tired. They got two clear chances, the Rashford and the, the Bruno. Those were very clear chances. You see me? And I mean, if a man has scored 10 from 10, you'd have probably believed that that one a goal right all over. You'd have expect him to score that for sure. You see me? So, and that were clear chance. You see me? So, I mean, I it. I mean, so here's the thing where it surprised me a bit. I mean, think it surprised me that Rashford never play on the left. That's what I want to you find me? out. want somebody from Manchester to really tell me that. Why? Is it is it that he wanted to play work hard so much that he couldn't? I don't know. I try yeah. to figure out. Well, I tell you what, because this is the same formation they played versus Barca. This is the same formation they played and won. Because um, Wenger is I think played as a, as a ten. Really and true, like drop off and play as a ten. You see me? I just will play up front. This is how they played against Barca and won the game. You see me? So the public trying to use the same thing. I mind you, it, it worked for a while because it created opportunity for Rashford. And he created the opportunity for, for, for Fernandez. You get what I mean? So it probably worked for a part of minutes. Yeah. You know I mean? And then knowing, knowing um, Ten Hag, who is a guy where, in, in, when it comes to half time, he's known to make the proper changes for half time. You get what I mean? He's known to do that because I've seen him done it in games and it worked. Especially in the last game they played versus Barca. So for him not to pick up um, a few things to stop the, the leak, he surprised me big time. At some point, he looks still sad. Like, like, when he reaches out to a fight, he starts to think about himself like, you have to take players. Even the players, they look still sad at one point. You get what I mean? So, in a, all of that, you know, and then start to make massive changes, then they start to say, well, I'm actually give up on the game. You get what I mean? So, I think he could have done better on his end, 
But I mean, large parts have to do with the players in more the play big time because that I mean, the last time they played Arsenal, they said Kessner wasn't playing. Kessner was playing. Kessner was playing. This is probably one of the strongest teams. Yeah, but the, but the other thing is that because Fabi Fernando, when I think that I am saying too is that after after four goals, I didn't see them trying to okay, let's we can't win the game again, but let's not get embarrassed. Like I still felt like they really believed at 4-0 that they had a chance. Even at 5, they were yeah. playing like they had a chance. And I'm saying that, stop the embarrassment. Stop the hey. embarrassment. And I, you, know, you know what I believe? I believe all right, people might say the players don't listen to the pundit and they don't read the paper and they don't watch social media. Man, I don't believe that. I believe a lot of them watch social media. They listen to a lot of the pundits them because we don't truly know. The pundits them... At some point, they start to say, oh, Liverpool lose the game already before the one even kick. You see me? Mr. Rashford, you want to come on the man to go, if you are a player, you want to join a team, join Man U because they're on the upper Liverpool stag man. And I'm like, you use a couple of games? You use half a season and judge you like that? You can tell me, like, people on the team that can have to go, yo, Liverpool are just the same size, same team bar, same goal. We love the atmosphere. Man, it's not working for you so far. Really. It's not working out for you so far. And all of them talk me, and I believe, like me, if me a slap, me I use all of them talk. Yeah. All of them talk the way I make, me I use that to fuel our players. Then. You see me? And then top four is in the site. All of these things that I use. You see me? So, of course, we think them listen to the media. But I expect it much better. Seriously, if somebody tells me to give them seven minutes of their life, I expect it much a better fight from the team. You get what I mean? But, I mean, we look forward to them playing um, for the week again to see the response. You see I me? Mean? Because this was atrocious. Believe you me. It was very bad. You yeah. mean? But to the Arsenal, man, all signs showing that Arsenal will win the league. Like every sign possible is showing that Arsenal will win the league. These are some of the performances then. If you're going to win the league, these are the performances then you look at and say, yo, this was one of the reasons we won it. Because you have gone into Liverpool, did it when you play Burnley and won 2 1 in the dying moment. And then you say, you do it when they play Leicester. You see me? And they do it when they play um, Villa. You see me? So these are signs that show to listen. Arsenal are going to win the league, man. Five points. Trust me. I mean, City is a really good opponent when it comes to chasing. But I don't. They're not the same. They're not the same for two, like two seasons. They're not the same. And, and here's what I, I mean. Think. I, I also think I also think like if if Arsenal don't go on from here to win the league, the, like this is when the the the, 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 the thing about their battle and all of those things, nobody could really. Yeah. Could, you understand? Me? Like this is maybe I had other excuses at a time, but right now, based on how things are, you, you, there's none because Liverpool Liverpool for example have I think. Manchester City on the first of April, then Arsenal and I think Chelsea. Yeah. I think, yeah. I think they have those three games, one after the other, yeah. don't it? So Yeah, man, I think we we'll play the first City will play the ninth Arsenal. And then after that, I think we have the Chelsea. The Chelsea. But in between that, they look like one more and all these things in between. Yeah. Yeah. All right, we have Salty calling in. He's our next Liverpool man. So big up, Frank. Right, yeah, man. Yeah, man. Yeah. All right, Demo, that is a Ten Hag quote, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, come on, disrespectful man, is, man. For me, it's not different. Up. The pitch is the same size everywhere. First of, of all, not wrong. Every pitch under the There's scene. a sport official. <laughs> Salty. <laughs> yeah, man. Oh, God. <laughs> we can't find Soul Gino. But go ahead, your time. Me never know say a comedy special here, yeah, Rob. <laughs> Come here. Me here one caller. Me here one caller before the last caller. Me I say, I, I must joke him again, but he's very poor at, at, at the comedy part. Eh? <laughs> the the, the caller before. Eh? 
I'm so big up it. Yeah, so get that man off the phone, man. You know what I'm saying, man? Talk to you. What? Talk to you. Talk to you. Well, I don't I, like me, me, the, some of those things are excuses, right? Because one, you can't use you can't use tired as an excuse. Because better have never call, man. You better have never call. That's why I'm saying, um, that's why I'm saying, better he close him out. Better to close him out and be tired of other fool now. Later, I remove all doubt. That's a perfect example, right? Take so. Manchester, you are the, the first week of March with the you know, season. I don't know June, you know, what kind of tired them tired already? Eh? Yeah, what kind of tired them for tired already? They have 13 more league games to play. They, Europa League, mix, FA Cup. Yeah. You just stay in the fifth round, you just stay in the fifth round of the FA Cup. What kind of tired they tired more than anybody? I'm not really compare. There's something come up in more than China, the four, you should say. Better just not say nothing. It's better just not bother call and I'll just take the lead. Man, it's man, why you go and talk to Suti? Maybe send you some things here, some stats. Yeah, 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 yeah. All right, dude. But Suti, but, yeah, but give yeah. me, give me an assessment. Of, I mean, what do you think led to Liverpool like six goals in the second half? What, what? Very good performance. What clicked with Liverpool? You know, yesterday because we have been asking think, for this um, Liverpool all season. I, I think they are critical. First of all, all the players them coming back right now. You know. The players coming back from injuries. Everybody come back. It's a Firmino come back. It's a Jata come back. Kanate come back. People are come back. The team, more and more players coming back. I think. But um, them only say Man United only seven points in front of Liverpool. You know. So so tell them don't rest too comfortably in that third spot. You know. they don't rest too comfortable. They only seven points in front of. I'll hear, I'll hear them attack on that one. But um, the first goal was good, but critical. Because I know if Manu get the first goal, they're going to play up on the counter. You know? That's a fair idea. So the first goal was critical. And I think what really knocked them is them two goals that they gave up right after right at the second half start. Um, right now, a 10 minute period after the second. The second and the third goal. And that, and that really crushed them, you know? Two counter attacking goal because I saw them want play now. They want you come at them and then them run at you. They run at you with the with the with the Russian and them and they play the counter attacking ball. So it worked against them, you know. After that, they may just drop down, man. They couldn't take the licks. They couldn't take what go on and them give up, man. And then I just hold four more. That's all. I'm not born a tired, no tired. Why we come by really at all about tired? By sure, I talk about tired. In our in our first week of March, with our season, we have three. So that means to say, that means to say, man, you know, I'm not where I go then. You shouldn't have no more argument than I talk to you about Arsenal. Because if you're tired in the first week of March, you know, I'm not where I go then. Yep. You know what I mean, so I'm stupid. But somebody you know saying, Duklan, 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 you need to call in here, Duklan. Yeah, there's a type type. Duklan says, Did we not hear that Liverpool was tired from the first match of the season? So what? Who you can't for every single trophy last season. So Hopefully so, every single well, no, no. If, if him hear somebody say Liverpool tired from the first go, game of the season, that means say, you need to come repeat it for, 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 for Manu. If a foolishness when somebody say about Liverpool, a foolishness when somebody say about Manu. Just because you hear somebody say it about Liverpool the first game of the season, no means to say you are come use it. You are using common sense. Or, or you are going to be tired in a match. When the season has finished, Joe, how can you use tired and execute? You don't reach nowhere yet. I just, I just a second, I just a round of 16, I'm reaching the Europa League, you know. They don't reach away yet now. I like to reach at the final, you know. The FA Cup, you just reach at the fifth round. You don't reach away yet. You don't reach a quad, you don't reach a semi final. You don't reach a final. So you have a whole more games. So how can you be tired now? Teams have played 60 at games. Like last season, Liverpool played 60 at games. Man, you probably just play like. This are them 25th league game. They probably play like 30 something games. If they have played all of the games, they have another 20 games to go. 20 odd games to go. Well, what kind of tired they are going to be at 20 at, at 30 something games? Like they have come upon the thing with them full full argument, the budget. Talk about the game. This was a game. Now you come with them foolish instead. Boy, your team tired. And you better than Arsenal and all them things. The man they are leading by 14 points. What kind of better you are better than them? Let me say, I mean, 14 points I know. Score more goal. Concede a, a lesser more than a goal. Uh, let me give you this. Cardimo just sent me these stats. I mean, no, no, them get that. All right, 
Here is Manchester United record against the big six this season. At City, they got 6-3. At Chelsea, they drew 1-1. One, one. At Arsenal, they got 3-2. And at Liverpool, they got 7-0. That is your record again. They play Tottenham, yeah? They play no, Tottenham, no, they? no. So I am saying that they're struggling against the top teams. Away. They're having a decent look at time still. They're doing, them doing reasonably well. But you don't know a man you think that still. I saw them fans still and stuff. Them go on the most way and, and stuff when they have a decent look around. But they're having a nice look at time. And they're third place. Them can't win the league. They win the league cup. But if you you, you can ask them of a senior the name of the team where them play leading up to the final of the league cup. They never really play nobody. But I saw them still. It's like them. It's like nothing. Them not assess nothing. Them no busy with no one. Nobody else to assess. And then as soon as them lose them, them come with them thing there where them I tell you about. Say them tired. And all that. Them can never give credit to another team. And this is why I can't stand money. You know, not not the, not the club itself, but the, the people them who support them. This is why I can't stand it. They can never just. You know the man them beat with the man them carve your apart on the counter attack and, and tear you up. Yes. The man them tear up Luke Shaw, the man them tear up Martinez. Um, the youth, they play very well in the midfield for a 19-year-old youth. They play against Casemiro and Fred, um, Harvey Elliott. And them think they want to have A 19-year-old youth in the middle of the field that play against Casemiro and Fred and, and play very well. See, talk about the coach. Him, him, him play, as on the same player, him play, everybody expects Rashford to play upon the right and play him through the middle. Um, when they make him, you know, when Trent have a problem, and when Trent play the wing of them, we, we can like Vinicius Junior and the Japanese are bright. The man we have only for speed, Martinelli and them guys, we can run, run left him. He might play Fernandes on the wing. If he play Mar Marcus Rashford on the wing, maybe Trent will have more problems. And then he might have the donkey in the middle of the field, they will play number 10 role. I better make him Christian or not. Because we don't know who is that guy. Who is that guy? Yeah. And so, it was a big game for Salah then, always, as well, you know, Sautica. Salah now become the leading goal scorer for Liverpool with 129. Yeah, man, that was expected. Just a matter of time. And then he might have him play Fred and Casemiro as a two. And Liverpool have three in the middle of the field with Henderson, Elliott and, 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 and Fabino. So they outnumber them in the middle of the field. And, and I kill them with the ball. All them something there. Don't tell the man about your team tired. Tired what? Come with yeah. foolish is for the other man. You, 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 your team get out coach and out play and embarrassed. It's all right. You can't recover by, by the next game. You're going to play the next game and win the game. That's how the thing go. Yeah. So full chat, foolish is more tired. So what that means? Next week, you must expect you to lose it. And the other game after that, because you're going to get more tired. Yeah. You're supposed to be more tired the more games you're going to play. Yeah, because even I got this stat from Demon that Liverpool has old scored Manchester United 18 to 1 in their last eight games at home in all competition. So for Ten Hag to come yeah, out and say it, no make a difference, it's madly so, matter. Playing at Anfield is a the difference. Last, the last um the last five games we play at home without conceding a goal, a five or four last in the league. We get fifty we get thirteen points out of the last five games we play in the league and stuff. Win four draw one. So we think I come together, you know, we think I mesh now, you know. We think I mesh together. And we are, we are going to finish top four. And we might can finish third. We might can finish third. Man, you only got seven points in front of us. Seven points can chat down in a 13 game. Yeah. Never yeah. know. All right. Them El, not away. El Gran Euro says, Carla, it's not about losing. It's about the margin of victory. And victory. And that is why we as Man U fans are upset. You think it's about not giving credit to Liverpool, but it's really about the way we lost. I'm talking about the particular caller Call, who yeah, was yeah. calling and talking the rubbish about the, the tiredness. I'm not talking the, about, about the way we lost. You lose a game at about three, four love and then give up after that. And that's sort of thing. Up. You know, see, one of the time the, 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 the little young midfielder where Liverpool have, I can't pronounce him. Yet. By set it, we we'll telling him about. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. You see him beat, you see him beat Bruno Fernandes on the wing one at a time and Bruno just stand up and watch him and never bother run, run behind him. And then Liverpool score another goal from that exact play there. So them give up. Them just give up after his three, four love. You know how I come back from that. You know how I come back from that. So that's all the thing. You know what I mean? But it's a, it's a, it's a nice like, feeling. You know what I say after, I think it's four love, after four love me leave, you know. 
I can't me leave the house and think. I'm saying this done. I'm carrying my tablet with me, you know. I'm going to BGS, Demo, you know what BGS, right? Yeah, yeah man, yeah, man. <laughs> I carry my tablet with me going to BJ's, you know. I mean, I watch a game from my tablet in the cart, you know. It's when Liverpool scored the fifth ball. I'm saying, boy, the whole place in there are white people, Spanish people, everybody. Else. Some people are laughing. I'm going to go and I'm going to see me in the middle of the aisle, you know. I said, kill them. That was fun, still. That was a good year. Me, I live my whole life. Me, I wait for do that thing to them, man. And 1931, since the last time them get a seven loving. Yeah, yeah. 1931. I first time I get seven loving and 90 of the years, you know. Yeah, but me that tell man in my story, so these guys, these guys aren't immune to these big scores, you know, because the man them pick up six. Um, this season already from City. Yeah, them man, get I six one from them, 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 get, them get one and two every year, man. For the last couple of years, them get one and two every year. That's what the thing say. You know what I mean? Yeah. But it's not a good deal still, no? Uh, you people, Liverpool get seven two from uh, from from Aston Villa. Must have come back next week. I'm winning. Now. That's the same thing I go, man. You brush it off, man. Call it three points. Uh, call it three points last and uh, prepare for the next game, man. But nobody come with your foolish argument, bro. I'm tired and I'm tired and all that rubbish there. You know what I come with it? You know what I mean? Are you rival not? Are the biggest rival in uh, English football? The two biggest rivals. None of them know I lose to the other one. Much less lose them with it. So nobody come with the foolishness. Take beating and what? Yeah. Right? Yeah. I want to tell you this. Them win the league, them win the league cup, you see? But 90 years from now, people are going to talk about the seven love more than the League Cup where they win this year. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I think so. That's why, why immediately, I, that's, why I, that's why immediately as them get seven love, you see the man, I dig up the history, I tell you when last them get seven I'm going to give you an example. When Manchester United gave that Arsenal the A2, Arsenal still finishing the top four now. And yeah, uh, uh, so them thing they everything was about A2 because that was such a big defeat. You yeah. understand me? So uh, it, that's just how it is, man. Um, that's and he couldn't have, he couldn't have to, he couldn't have to a better team, you know. He couldn't have to a better group of supporters. He couldn't have to a better set, man. Because once they win a couple of games, nobody na talk like them, man. Them no respect nobody else. Them no, them no care what anybody else are do. Them no, them no care nothing. It's all about them. But them can't win the league. And nobody, even if them 15 points behind you, you can't win the league, but them can't win. Well, that's what they them call they call, they call her, tell me that Manchester United are gonna finish, can finish in front of Arsenal. So, yeah, yeah, yeah that's it. Yeah, 30, 13 yeah. games to go. 13 games to go. You have 39 points on and You're 14 points behind the man them already. So, so basically, and, and them say, man, and, you have and to And you say you're tired. And you say you're tired. It's tired. I you say your time, your side is tired. But with 13 games to go, you are going to get 15 more points than them Monday from the next available 39 points. You know, see the man, them delusional, Bridget. Yeah, but fresh God, they are. fresh God said enough for me because on every Manchester United fan. But we know that Fresh God, we're just talking about the caller who call in. And, and they, they are Manchester United fans, Fresh God, who really believe that they will win the title. Them can't win the title. A 39, a 39 points left for play for, you know? And them have, them already four, minus 14 against, against, against Arsenal. You know? So that means it's Arsenal have, uh, Arsenal have, uh, have, uh, have 15 less points than, 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 than Manu over the next 13, 14 games. That makes sense? Yeah. That makes sense. Uh, and we can beat them because we have seven points behind them. And we can catch them. So yeah. that we are look for. We are, we are good for them. Yeah. You know yeah. yeah but so it's, so it's Arsenal, so it's Arsenal from City, from Liverpool, from Manu. That is it. Yeah, because Tottenham in problem because Tottenham lose because Liverpool just was three points. Tottenham, 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 Tottenham it's three points. Tottenham Tottenham Bogus, how much points are behind Tottenham now, Demo? Three? Three points. I will play a game less. I will play a game less. Yeah. I will yeah. warm up. You hear me I tell you say last five games are 13 points, man. I'm four clean sheet. The last four games that were my four clean sheet. I want, we all want to play now. <laughs> all right. So all it, was right. A, it was a great day. It was a great day and a nice day. Uh, 
and they will have to live on in history. <laughs> you know what I mean? Them do one first thing. Yeah, my time when Man City dumped the six one from them, and that was the first. That was the first time Man City really do dust them up. And one of them is another one of them deal that them get. Yeah. But this one even worse because them get it from Liverpool. Them yeah. historic rival. Liverpool them get it from. They can't live that down again. All right, man. Yeah, man. All right. So Chris, Chris. Money, 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 money. <laughs> Before you get to the Arsenal game, man, is man. Zin? Yeah, hear me? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Before, before you get to the Arsenal game, I just want, man, you know, you know, everybody had talked about, you know, the game and stuff. More, more I know how, how Manchester United fan base are getting with this Anthony brother. Like, what him do? Yeah. The man the most overrated footballer I've ever seen in my life, in the boss. What does he actually do? I see him do a trick in the game and control the ball like a Neymar control with the flick. And that's it. Him take a shot early in a probably about the third minute where Alison there for see him. And after that, I see the man in a game again in the boss. You know, what does you know, he Demo, actually do? Demo, that is a very big point that he raised. I, I, I think like Manchester United board and even fans must be unhappy with Maybe he's a good player, but that man is not worth any more than $40 million, if so much. The man is an average footballer at best. I don't know what the man do. Like, my, 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 I watch a man in a game and I say, what the hype about this, a brother? Uh, when time do the spinning thing the other day and, and everybody I make up one bag of knives, he might do tricks and re- Okay, fine, but what, what do you do? What, what actually do you do in a game? After the man kicked that shot with Allison saved, early in the game. I literally never see the man in a game again. Never. I may mean, say, but wait. You know, this is not a first time thing. Watching most of Manchester United games, the man not do nothing. The man is the most overrated footballer I've ever seen in my life, boss. I don't get it. And the man cause, man, man, like, I know people make a big deal about Grealish price tag, but Grealish has had a, a way more better game than Man City. Like Grealish, Grealish actually play football. Me no know what this brother here do. Yes, I, I'm going to tell you this. Even Pepe produced more than Anthony. Even Pepe. Who people say flop. Even Pepe scored more goals and have more assists than Anthony. And him, Anthony, Anthony don't worth any more than 40 million. At most. At most, even Gakpo, listen, and there's no excuse, you know, because Gakpo yeah. came in after him. And yeah. got, even Gakpo looked better. <laughs> Boys, let's we, just, just negate it. And you know what the worst thing? When Gakpo and, and, uh, and Nunes come to we, Manchester United fans, when them never, when we, nev, them never start off good at Liverpool, them they say, oh, a good thing we never get them. A good thing we never get Nunes. And we never want to get point at the first place. And da, 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 da. Them get Anthony and just a hype. And then all of a sudden, a gap for them outperform him. But me not understand. Who said like, that? Mr. United saying that Anthony scored more goals than Jack Grealish. The, but that now, Jack Grealish have about 10 assists for assist. Manchester City. Yeah, yeah. And it's not even about Grealish and Anthony this season. Man is man, it's not even about goals and assists, boss. Just watch when the man a play. Just watch when the man a play, man is man. The man right foot are just to stand up on because he cannot do anything with him right foot. Him always a fair try cut inside, and if he, if him can't cut inside, that's it. Like Jack Grealish actually involved in a Manchester City games. Like the man are probably one of the most fault fault player in the league. Because of his dribbles and stuff and getting people involved. And Bridget, in I also watch Anthony in the World Cup. The man no good, brother. He should never make the Brazil side. Oh, my gosh. And I, I firm, you know, them left for that, the man. For me, you know, come on for about five minutes. I'm busting it. <laughs> yeah, well, Mr. United said that him here, you give up on your team before the emo. Nobody heard me say that because I said we will not lose that game. So I don't know what he's talking about. Mm. So I and don't, actually I don't know. give proper analysis and say we, we, on a, a um upward trajectory, not losing in yes. in the last what, five yeah. and all of them something there. So I don't know him at all. All right, this person is Anthony. 12, 12 games, three goals. 
That can't be real. No. That can't <laughs> play more than 12 games, man. <laughs> that, that can't be real, man. <laughs> but like I say, I'm not even about goals and assists alone. I don't know about GA alone, but, but just how him play in the league, man, is, man. Like, him and Richarlison, brother, they might get away with murder, brother. Richarlison, him score a goal for Tottenham yet? He man has not scored a goal in the he, Premier League. I think he scored, didn't he score in um, Champions, in the Champions League. League? But may I talk about the league? No man, yeah. they might get away with murder, boss. And them down from Gakpo and Nunes. Yeah, Fresh God is confirming that in the Premier League, Anthony has played um, um, 12 games. And three in the goals. and three goals in the Premier League in the Premier League. All right, we can't check the stats. Demo, yeah, check, but... out, check out Anthony. Let me check. Oh, you can't do it because you're on the no, phone. No, no, but but what may I say it's not even about that. It, it, like it's not even about that. I'm just a talk like him impacting our Manchester United. Like what does he do? Yeah. All right. So so let me see if we can get Jack Grealish stats this season. In the league, all right, easy to find that man, Jack Grealish. Um, which season we 2023? Let me find it, you know. More find because I believe that Jack Grealish has more goals than him still this season. Wait, somebody just said something about Gakpo. Read it for me, the man is man. Mega Senior has that Gak. Gakpo play one good game. Don't twist the fox. What? All right. <laughs> yeah, but not, not really. You see Omar fouling. You see me? I'm not just talk for talk sake, you know, brother. So if you come say them something there, come, come, come on and talk to me, boss, with some facts. And like me say, I'm not a GA person alone. Oh, but Gakpo, apart from the first... Gakpo... Last five Premier League games, he scored against Everton, Newcastle, and he scored two against Manchester United. So in five but, games, he has four goals. In and, the last and five. Again, and it's not even just goals. But since him first couple of games to Liverpool, playing the fast nine, the man has integrated really well in terms of link up play or him drive the ball and dribble, him touches and all of them stuff. This so I don't know this one good game him at talk about. In Gakpo's last five games, he had scored four goals and he has been majorly involved in and, whatever yeah. Liverpool is doing going forward. And, and Jack Grealish has three goals this season in the Premier League as well. How much assists him have? Um, assists he has uh, four assists. Four and three. And he yeah. has, yeah. Okay. That's but Jack like Grealish say, this season in the league. But like I say, it, it, him way more involved in a Manchester City than... than Anthony, so um, man, so and, and and I mean, from 16 games, I think, and he had he, he came on four times, right? And playing mm. like 70 76 minutes on average per game. His expected goal XG is 3.05. He has 26 shots, six on target. Um, yeah, he has been fouled 18 times, so his pass completion is 88 percent. So we can we can check out we can check out um we can check out that for um what what's his name? Grealish? No man um no man we can check out let me check out Anthony's own. Oh Anthony. Yeah, yeah. So let's check out let's check out Anthony's stats. All right. People are saying if Anthony come good, like <laughs> boss, all I am saying is when Pepe came in the league. Nobody was saying, wait till Pepe come good. Zin? Nobody was saying that. They were all on Pepe for 70 million. And this is my do. Da, 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 da. So, I don't want to hear about if Anthony come good. Because, yeah. Oh, we're looking for, right. What, what's his name? Anthony, right? We, check, we mm. can check the stats. You know, we have it right here. We're going to give you everything on Anthony this season. Right? Oh, yeah, give them. Because may I tell you, for me, it's not just about the, the GA. Is just watching him play. But I don't think his stats are, I mean, you, what, what you can say. So he has played 12 games, one substitute appearance. And he has played more minutes. He has, he's at 81 minutes, right? He has three goals. His expected goal is less than Jack Grealish at 2.66. 
All right. Um, he has zero assists so far. Yeah. In the league, so he's not better assist than Jack Grealish. So Jack <laughs> Grealish has seven goal contribution. He only has three so far. You understand me? Um, completed passes. Jack Grealish is at eighty-eight. He's at eighty-one. So really and truly, Jack Grealish has performed better than. Anthony. But there's no comparison between him and Jack Grealish, boss. It's, it's night and day. Anthony has been garbage. So let's check. Check. Let's check. Darwin Nunes. You want no, to you don't need to check that. He's he's light years ahead of everybody else. Nobody check that boss. All right, you want to mm -hmm. compare him with Gakpo? Yeah, use Gakpo, who play 500 and must 35 minutes. You can't use Gakpo. All right, so let's go. Let's go. Let's use Gakpo. If me a come here, so I'm about Darwin Nunes, boss, you're supposed to know. It's night and day. You don't need to use him. All right. Let's get that post up. Maybe the, maybe the man they want to stop and I want to just admit. Maybe no need to just stop and say, all right, um, just leave it, right? So so wait, so people actually have say Anthony has been good for Manchester United this season? That they yeah. must have? No, anybody no, yeah, I don't think anybody thinks that he's better than Gakpo at, at for this season. Uh, Right, I don't think you think so, people. All right, so we don't have to do we don't have to do that, right? Cause it's not gonna look good for Anthony. So make me leave it. Make me leave it alone. All right, because Gakpo, Gakpo has seven start one um substitute appearance. He has seventy four minutes per game so far. All right, he has yeah. scored four goals. Um, this is saying he has zero assists. Yeah, no, no assists. So really and truly, yeah. It it, it, it it from him, him, him way 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 better because seven go seven games four goals way way we don't even need to compare we don't even need to compare all right so um but Anthony I think I I, I still don't believe he's a he's a good player I've not seen anything um to suggest that he is people say wait until him get this and wait until him get that it's the same thing I never believe that um even richardson could survive in a big club richardson is <laughs> garbage boss <laughs> yeah but me know say a brazilian fan so mega go easy uh, listen i i think like <laughs> fermina should have gone to the world cup i think martin nelly should have been playing over anthony in the world mm. cup yep easily easily but yeah, talk to me about your Arsenal game because, like I say, I still don't believe Arsenal will win the league. I'm still like, but I just believe the Arsenal will not. And and these these performances, you know, what this remind me of Manning's man. Yeah. This remind me of Liverpool when 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 we did everything possible. Like we do, we score, we do everything last minute. Um, winners, all of them something day. But at the end of the day, on the final day. Manchester City were just too much, <laughs> and they they clipped us uh, by, he, by he, one he, point. Here, here's the thing I'll say: I believe Arsenal are going to win the league. Guess what? Yeah. I think one, this team, the the, the probable the probability of this team, like responding to pressure, like in previous mm. years, I think yeah. is very low. Also, I think City in transition. I think in all the years that City has been contending for the title. Yeah. The Premier League, I think it is the is the worst I've seen them. But they in other words, they have better individual players and a top top coach. But I think as a team, yeah, Arsenal is a better team. But City just have somebody they can have a lights out day by Alan them win a game. Lights yeah. out day by Kevin De Bruyne they win a game. But as a team, I don't think they as are cohesive and as deadly as they used to be. There's a mm. time when City was playing and I almost think like no team could even touch the ball if they don't want them to. Yeah, no yeah. Team. Like, I see teams now, even the Newcastle game, you know, mm. the Newcastle game, I don't <clears> think like City dominated Newcastle. Like Newcastle, the second goal, for example, Newcastle was playing, I think was playing better. And normally, when City win the league, even when they chase down Liverpool, City was all playing team. Like Arsenal don't don't stand a chance. United, no team stands a chance. I think more teams now in the Premier League 
when they play City, think they have a realistic chance. And that is because I don't think either the players and Pep not at the same place, they, but there's something wrong. Kevin De Bruyne don't look the same player this season. I think now they have less options. Like if Foden is not there, they don't have some of the other players that they would call on. I think Zivchenko and Sterling and Jesus, those guys have not been replaced. Because who have they added? Alvarez. Um, Alvarez Haaland. Yeah. Well. That's it. And the left back. Rico Lewis? No man, them by Alec Gomez. That that's just in the in the in the window that just but the point I'm making is that they, they, they bought in Gomez to replace Zivchenko. Right? Alvarez yeah. replaces Gabriel Jesus. Yeah. And they, they never really replaced Sterling. Yeah, but they, they wouldn't need to because they have Mares already forwarding. All right. Bernard the Silva can go there if necessary. So yes, go in midfield. There are games like when Rodri was not playing well, they could bring on when he, what his name? Um Fernandino. Um, Fernandino. He's not there. Yeah, he but they have in... Calvin Phillips now back. Oh jeez, man. But that's <laughs> but, so, I but just... man is man. Man is man. My case yeah. has always been and will forever will like me say, Arsenal have to win the league. For me, believe so they might go in the league. But my case is always this man is man. Pep has done it before. I'm this mega always said this still. He has done it before. Coming from behind to win the league versus a very good team who was determined, him overlap and come with. He has done it before while in front and being chased by a very good Liverpool team. And a lot of these guys have the experience of doing it. For me, I have seen Arsenal crumble too much. Um in the past, but more so now under Arteta when they were supposed to get top four and probably comfortably, and they wilted under the pressure. Sure, you added a couple, you added pieces, and, and those pieces are from obviously a winning team in City. But I just don't think that this it's going to be enough to get Arsenal over the line. And me think that the game when you play City again, that's going to be the decider in the title race because. When City beat another you know, time, eh? that's, that's City, going to be. When yeah, City you're, beat, yeah, you're going to lose that here's game. What, here's what I think is happening with you now, Dima. You what? already tell me that Messiah can't win. So here's but, the that, what? You, are, you already have a bet with me that Messiah can't win in a friendly. Yeah, but, no, so but I give you the reasons. I'm going to just you know, say it. But you just said when City beat me. How you how you going this up? Yeah, because I think they're going to beat you. Do you, know that? do you know that if I go to City with an eight point lead, it don't change the price of rice, what that outcome be? And I believe by the time I get to play Manchester City, man we're going to play. Demo. Man, man, Demo. man. Listen, listen to me. No, you say, well, I'm, I'm, I'll be very. All right, go, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Mark my words. Yeah. By the time Arsenal goes to City, yeah. to play them, they'll be leading Manchester City by eight points and whether we win lose or draw that game it will not make a difference go ahead All right. so you're leading city by what five now yes your next game is fulham win so you're winning that game yeah all right so we give you that you get to your former captain which is crystal palace after that win. that's a win because that's at home then you get to leads after that that's a win, win. All right, so so for me, I can so probably agree with that. Who city eh? plays? We know, we know, but we still get to city. Me just, me just says okay. fine, because uno uno they are called win versus Everton. Who did they bottom of the table? And we can go back and go back. But we're not gonna do that, right? Cool. Then you have to come to Anfield. Zin, yeah. you you calling that a win? That will be a good game. I think we can win. <laughs> I think we can win. I think we can beat no, Liverpool. No, 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 no. You were so confident with the other side, Dave. You just say win. No, because Liverpool, win. I did tell you, Demo, one thing with me. I'm a realist. Yeah. I'm not like yeah. you. I don't speak emotional about because it's my team. Liverpool no. and Anfield, hold on. I, mm. I defeated Liverpool. 
at, I am saying to you that it is possible that we can beat them at Anfield. It will be very difficult. But I'm saying to you, I can also draw the game at Anfield. Oh, but you can't lose. Of course, we can lose. I'm not saying that Liverpool. I would never say Liverpool cannot beat us at Anfield. Okay. Me so, say that, but I'm saying that I can get a draw at Anfield. I may just yeah, need but, to get a draw. Yeah, but man, is man. I am saying to you to pick something. No, you can do this and you can do that. We can do all things through Christ who strengthens us. You know? exactly. But tell me something. Are you going to win or draw? But I tell you, listen, listen, here's what I'm saying to you. I let me let me tell you what I'll say. This is Anfield, Liverpool. Yeah can beat any team including arsenal okay. even on a good day for arsenal at anfield i am okay. saying to you what i want to do when i go to anfield is to get at least a point okay all right fine so so, so yeah mega just say draw it cool yeah, but, draw, right, yeah. so in essence in essence you have liverpool city chelsea newcastle um no. as your, your toughest opponents in the title run coming up yeah and you feel like you can beat all of those teams, yeah? And and City, let me see, let me tell you where City have now. No, you, you do it wrong, Demo, because first, listen, mm -hmm. first, right, you started out with my next three fixtures. Yeah, yeah. Right. And you say win. So, the, the, so that's nine plus one that I'm, I'm, I'm predicting a draw against Liverpool. That's mm. ten. Go through City next four fixtures. Yes, and that made a good do. All right, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, so we've got City now, right? So City yeah. have, um, I think they have West Ham, but that kind of postponed, right? I don't know when that game is going to be, but that, I say postponed. But, but you, you presume that they'll beat West Ham. Then they have us, and we are going there oh, to the FA. Oh, okay. That is my game, because I believe Liverpool is going to beat Manchester City. That is no. why I'm going to be a point. No, yeah, I am but, telling you what I believe. You can say no. I believe in Liverpool. Yeah, but I'm saying money's man. You just talk to me about emotion and, and uh, for team and whatever. I mean, you know why you say that with me? Because I don't pick Liverpool based off emotion. Because for <laughs> one, we don't beat Manchester City over there. So we don't beat Manchester City at Etihad Bar. So for just say, oh, you believe so we're going to win? That, that kind of crazy. Like they normally slap us. Like, it, it, you know, in a nice over the circle, right? So that game is kind of 50 50. All right. Then so the man of Southampton, Leicester, Brighton, then them play Brighton, you. Brighton, Brighton. Man is man. Come on Brighton. now. Come How on. Did Brighton and City go? How did Brighton and City go? Come on, no man is man. How did Brighton and Liverpool go? How did Brighton and City go? Come on, Demo, man. How did Brighton man and Liverpool you see, you see how we never do this with your fixtures and say, oh, this did go with the next team and this did go with the next team. We just say win. You get uh, you to me at all, boy. Demo, Demo, you hear what I'm saying to you? I yeah. believe the teams that are going to give Arsenal difficulties. Yeah. Liverpool, mm -hmm. City, yeah. and Brighton. Okay, fear. That's fear. Those three teams. Liverpool, City, and Brighton. I think by the time Arsenal play Newcastle, brother, Newcastle fire out, you know, I think Newcastle can probably finish eight. <laughs> eight anyhow has been found out since okay. sent sent a minimum <laughs> you start all, right. all right man is man but my, my, my point already but just to say for me i don't think you're going to win the league and i'm gonna give you reasons why but i just want you to walk me through the bormon thing because i i never saw that coming i thought you were going to drop points um, I thought it was a, a really good game by, by Bournemouth, but you guys just keep on finding the formula, like, you know, show fighting spirit. And let me say, it remind me of the Liverpool seasons back, where we're win, 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 last oh, minute, man, ahead of this, well, that, that. Guess what, Demo? We have mm -hmm. Solji. Well, let me have a technical here, oh, people. Oh, wow, yes, please. Hey, Solji, are you back in Manchester? Yeah, man. Bless up, the, bless up, the, bless up. <laughs> Oh, you with Demo. Congratulations, sir. Because me tell you, say me up all, you know. It, it, it kind of take too long. Demo man is man. Eh? I, I, I don't know, but seven I'm boss, you have to say me up. Did it take you seven hours to reach back home? It, it, it take me seven hours. 
We are we all travel together, you know. Man, you we take we beat, you know. Oh, how many you went to the match but together? Be, oh, me, hold on, how many you went to the match yeah. together? Seven. <laughs> no nah, man, I will pa person go man. We have we drive go, but we have we have will pa buses we go down the boat. Oh, I'm just two hours up. Mm. We we in at about seven, so we get seven of the boys in the party. You know. We get seven of the boys in the Oh yeah, eh? Your brother, we, your we take with seven. Uh, your brother understand what money for the top boat. <laughs> Pick up your brother that the what ground. <laughs> well, yeah. go, go ahead, man. Yeah, talk, to us. <laughs> talk to us. Talk to us. listen to yeah. you now. Yeah, man. Talk to us about the game yeah, experience and how you're feeling and your thought. Yeah. Why? I tell you, when you touch, when you touch, sixty-five minutes. Three quarter the people them start to walk out, you know, man, you find them, you know. My brother said, boy, I'm not watching nothing more, you know. Me, me said, I'm watching, you know, I'm still watching, you know. But man, you pay like some look of school boy, not some school boy. You know, like a Premier League team up here against a school, a school boy team. Yeah. That, that's what happened. But, boy, Dima, you did tell me, say, boy, mine have, mine have five more, and boy, I never five or seven. <laughs> you know, I never know. But I me say Wednesday night, Thursday night we are going back with the side from from Spain and try we win the match here. Yeah. We have a match. I hope uh, I hope we can go, go, go beat real matches and don't make both more beat you know because man is so man. Ask me if you never beat me a jersey. Hold on, hold on. Go ahead, Dima. Dima have something for yourself. But you never you never say you never beat me a jersey. No, man, you never want to take your bet when I say that you. You never want to take your bet. <laughs> <laughs> you don't take your bet. Because it's a number seven. It's a, it's a number seven that glitch mood I want. <laughs> yeah, man. Yeah, yeah, man, if you didn't take your you bet, you then not win yourself a jersey. But, but, so but, you tell me, you were at the game. What really went wrong with Manchester United? Why, why did, like, why even you were at the game? Why did... Um, Marcus Rashford not start on the eleven to take on Trent Alexander. But so you, 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 you are the same thing. We said to me, Bridget, you're so right, man is man. I 100% agree with you. When I see the mother coach of Rashford up here in through the middle, me say, me said to me, Bridget, say, why Rashford not play pan, not, not play pan, pan the wing? I don't know what the coach, why the coach, why him do and put the. I'll the same one when me tell you, say, you can't compare Harry Kane with him, the film it all forward. Me don't know where him come, where I rest, I rest play that as a man even. <laughs> but if you say that you, you, you don't take Harry Kane over him. No, no, don't say that, man. Me say you can't compare Harry Kane with that man, man. Oh. Yeah, yeah, disrespect Harry Kane. Okay. Me say I disrespect Harry Kane. That man shouldn't even wear a Manchester shirt. Not even as a supporter shirt like me shouldn't wear. You know? Because, but saying this, you know, in the first half, you know, if, if Rashford, Rashford get a goal too, you know, because he yeah, scored yeah, a goal yeah. in the first half, you know. That's true. And Bruno for score as well. Bruno, yeah, Bruno for score. So if then they score, then goal, then maybe game would then different. And then Liverpool come, but second half when they come back out, me say, all right, they will come and, 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 and have my ticket, and they call Liverpool, like Liverpool, like the man in the system, some, some ticket, them put, man. So, they come around and be, 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 be beating, you know, becoming up playing, you know, Luke Shaw not playing, nothing. The, the defense, the, why am I telling you, Dello not playing, nothing. So, I tell you, Anthony, what, Anthony. What, yeah, Dima asking what happened to Anto, Anto, Anthony. I said, Anthony, they're my idiot, man. I said, I broke the <laughs> my man, they put a whole ball and, and, and come. You get the ball, the man get the ball to run. Run and go down, you are weird, funny man, if you come beat, man. <laughs> because I would put on Sancho, you know, because I would take him. I thought the coach would take him off half time and put on and put on Sancho. Yeah. But, as you say, a film team, and I can't tell him what to do. But I don't know what happened. I'll know. I don't know. I'll, I'll this morning. I don't know why them on the training ground where them are do. So where them are Do you agree? I was saying that the coach should have tried to shut shut shop at four love because you couldn't win the game again. Why well, never bring on some more defensive minded play players? Go to a back five and four in the middle and keep one strike up front and play on the counter and, and don't concede no more. Yeah, goals. because 
I, 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 yeah, that's true. And the next thing where I see, I, I see him say something one time when Manu did on that four at City. And he said, oh, then this, no city, don't buy. And so then disrespect to Ronaldo if you put him on at that time. But we see him on that six and him put on, him put on the next look of forward. You understand? Seven did on that. Where you take off? Where you better take off? Where you better take off? Exactly. Show that that time. Exactly. But, but, um, when it, Soji, what, what was the, what was the yeah. atmosphere like in Anfield? But, uh, you know, full atmosphere really at, at, uh, as usual. We not lose, you know. On those vibe, vocal, everything, the loud noise. We start out, it was loud, pure loud noise start out. And you know what? To a rivalry, the two and were against each other. And yeah. then, then the goal score, and then we still are uh, come. Then when two, three, why the, the, our crowd get weak? <laughs> but then, um, Liverpool, not Liverpool, not Liverpool still, you know. It's a hard place because, as me tell you before, you know, to go and win, you know. Yeah, but midi, midi, you can't win midi. there. Mm -hmm. You can't win there, but you can win there. You can win there, but me, I say to my friend Ryan, Mr. Ryan, Liverpool is show them up here winning. Me say them get back them here when they more face me. They more turn. Color, this this is a warning. You have seven minutes before you get to <laughs> seven minutes, seven seconds before you get to seven minutes on the phone call. <laughs> do you do you wish to proceed <laughs> after seven, Carlo? Oh, hola, no, hola. Um, <laughs> no, the reason why I'm asked, Soji, is because we, we obviously are watching on TV, people, right? Sorry, you know, we have 77 people on, on the stream right now. You yeah. understand me? So let us get to 77 <laughs> likes. And we're going to give Soji seven more minutes because he has two sevens <laughs> in his phone number. Go ahead with the Christian Diva. Yeah, but, <laughs> but, but, Soji, um, because I'm watching from the TV, right? But no, like like you said, yeah. and I said it earlier, I think the first half was pretty even. I think you guys got the clearer opportunities, yeah. but we there play better. And I think at one point, Una did kind of quiet down the unfield um crowd. So that's why I mean to ask if, if that did happen during no time at all. Like yeah. them get quiet. Yeah. yeah, now what happened is you see the first 20 minutes when it when, when you was getting creating those chances. Yeah. In the first 20 minutes. You was up and we were still singing, making nice. And so when it come down to the last 15 minutes where me take over the game, yeah, your crowd get quite, your crowd okay. get quiet. And our team, team was at and your crowd was quiet. Okay, okay. The, the, you, your manager was saying, saying to the crowd, was, your manager was signaling to the crowd to, to fire it up. And when you score now, that's when going to halftime, the nice was all over again. Okay, right. okay, okay. You know, we don't, I don't really know if we don't travel along alone and all them sort of things. We can't really like it. I don't know if we don't sing them. <laughs> yeah, man, yeah, man. But, but you see, even I was telling my my, my friend, say, I was telling my friend, my name stand up. I said to him, say, Mr. Ryan, this, me got me Virginia Ryan, you know, the one where my KC friend, where we got the game, I got a man who gave. Yeah, man. Yeah. Those man is man who chew and chew, you know. So, what well, happened, I mean, you know, when I said to him, say, you need to turn up, you know, because he said, you see, I'm a miss, miss goal when he play against me, more turn up. And in turn up. Who have a turn up? Oh, new name? So, yeah, man. In turn okay. up, man. Good. You see, you see the goal there, guys. You see Ali, you see Ali head of went, man, score, man. Good header, you know. Yeah, man, a good goal. Good, good header. But, good header. But, 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 magnificent goal. You personally, you personally recover from it though. I know it's only used to getting some high scores and things, but you recover? Yeah, man. Then I remember recover. I said, I come, come call the program. That's me now. And man is man said, boy, where we was and where we were. So seven come. So I recover. When I hear you, I say, all right, the good thing. So I can come and say, <laughs> what you do, you know? What we get to be, you know? The amount of text when you get an email and, and things. You know, them, you know, them, you know, you know. <laughs> we don't even look on them, you know, because what what happened? Why well, I may mean, I tell you? But me not we not stop watching, you know. But but Carly, you know that you know that um um Pellegrini and Ancelotti, they they, they played in the La Liga. Can you know that you play Liverpool play Madrid with Ancelotti as a yeah. coach? You play mm. um Real Sociedad, I believe, in Europe, yeah. And, yeah. and their coach is Pellegrini, mm. and both of them mm. were laughing in shock. You saw that. Yeah, well, well, then can't go and laugh. You know, I, I will, well, 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 one, 
Let's see, who all have, who all have lost, you know? Well, while we have been saying, we have to just recover, brush off ourselves, take with seven. Remember we, be, remember, we lose six to City and lose four to, to, to Brentford, to Brentford, you know? We lose two to, we lose two to Brighton, and we all, oh, yeah, we're going to lose four, get four from, four, six from City, we come back, we beat City, you know? We, yeah. we come, so we recover good, so, and we're still in a two cup competition still. Yeah. So uh, uh, we have to just continue on our uh, momentum. But we just never we just never turn everything go wrong from the, the, the formation where we might, we might coach you. And then we, didn't, uh, we can't blame nobody but blame ourselves because Russia should feel people on the wing. So, so and we say but Liverpool Liverpool should down at least two one. Maybe they never then get a chance to score if score two. And you see unlucky, he did offside still the goal where Casemiro was offside. Yeah, yeah, it was outside. So, yeah, so, so, so let me ask you this. this. You're still confident of top four are winning the title. Where do you see a team finishing at the end of the season, given this well, result? Well, at, this, at, the end of this, at, at the end of the season, I did have Manu say, Manu, just, if Manu finish top four, get a trophy already, top four, that is a plus from where my side will come in from last three past years. So finish at top four will be... Will be Definitely when we have but if we slip up up front and we can't catch we can't catch you know, but we not think about the type we not think about just finish night up four and and see but you know you 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 who are book here to what you know and if city book in two and, <laughs> and anything anything can happen you still believe that you know, <laughs> yeah man then I you know, about them too right. for you, man. But, but, yeah man ah. eh? <laughs> I remember I know, you remember Jim say I know Jacks, you know. My, my friend say if he tells you I know Jacks, you know. So remember, you know, if you book your book your two, you know, me know that say your book your two, you know, that is Arsenal, you know. And yes. if book in two, you know, you know, say, ah, well, all right, look at it this way. Suppose, suppose you come and you can lose five match, you can lose five match and, and City can lose five and look, I'm in two five. Come on, so you know, what I'm man. You know what I'm Say, you know, yeah. Liverpool lose five, me lose five match, and 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 said Liverpool come back on up upright and come down and a breathe down. And when my brother now we say pressure was spiked, you know. Yeah. My my so, my, my pressure when Liverpool are put on for your boss your pipe. <laughs> no, no, but me I say. Oh, oh your so pipe your pipe can, can bust, but Arsenal pipe can bust. <laughs> you know, you you know this when me say a while ago. Yeah, me say, team lose five too. So, me lose, me say if me lose five. Yeah. He said me lose five, you lose five, City lose five, Liverpool come and win for them five and start blow down everybody in it back now. Pressure about spiping you know, on you see, I'll start a foolish no, start going you know, you know, you know, you know, if from this position, me lose hey, five. Remember, remember you the only remember you remember this, you know, you the only team, you know. With, with with six game leave, you know, I lead the competition by twelve points and and, and lose and, and lose yeah, the league. Yeah, you know? man, yeah, man. We are talking about this season, Carla, man. Then then no 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 reach so no way. I will let's, team, I will let's match talk enough. about let's talk about the five game losing thing. If City lose five, Arsenal lose five, and Manchester United lose five, I would still be leading Manchester United, and I'd still be leading City, and I'd still be leading. I know me. I know me. You feel about that. My virgin. I say I know me. You feel about. You have to worry about Liverpool. You have to breathe on the neck back. So because you have you have a manager when you feel win so win. I respect them. I know me. So, you feel about so, that. Man, I said to you. So hold on. You make me put myself in the middle. No man. Let, what I'm saying is that at this present moment, right in the table, let yeah. me just give you an idea. Arsenal the and 63, Liverpool the 42. So I am 21 points ahead of Liverpool. So I lose mm. five games, right? Yeah, me still wouldn't that, catch them. That's, that's 15 points. Me still six mm -hmm. games of Liverpool, and I would be playing 31 games. I mean, I have seven games leave to play. I'm still leading mm -hmm. Liverpool. All right. So me, me, need, me, need more, me need to lose more than five games. No, 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 no. But good now, you may I say to you. You lose five. This is what I'm saying. No. Mm -hmm. And you have seven games, seven match all leave. Seven match left for play, you know. And you lose five, and you know. Remember, so say, Manchester yeah, lose yeah, five. Yeah, of course, me talk about myself. Me talk about myself. City lose five. Yeah. City lose five, yeah. Mm -hmm. And remember, me then come, remember then come and I breathe on your back, you know, and I come with a momentum there, you know. 
Remember me tell you, say, no, you turn fool, you know, when city will rise from you, you go rise. So, you know? so you, but you can rise from it? Oh, me not about me, you know. Me not, <laughs> me not about me. Me not about you and you side. You are come from, and you are come from behind oh. with the moment. Oh, so. <laughs> no, what I want to ask you, you know that. You understand what I said, Dima? No, watch it. Yeah, what yeah, my understand. Wait, Manning's man. Let me just tell him. I understand because I try to explain it to Manning's man already. But him now and listen. May I tell him, say, Arteta don't have the experience being chased. So him can fumble at any minute while Manchester you Manchester City already experienced chasing and being chased. So them can easily well um no, with the pressure. Not. All right. What I'm saying though, the caller is listen. The caller is not because the caller is not talk. If Liverpool, you know, if Liverpool come come above us, that is going to push Manchester United down. No, man is man. Men are talk about that. Okay. If Arsenal, <laughs> Men are the if, if Arteta don't don't quote unquote don't don't know an Arsenal don't know about being chased. I would say the same thing about Manchester United. They have a coach who has not been chased in the league. Either. Yeah, but he said he's not talking about him. He might talk so, about City. Okay. No, me, no, let the City fans come and talk. No one the Manchester United <laughs> fans come and talk about me and Manchester United. No one the City fans come and talk about me and City. Demo, me and you talk about Liverpool. <laughs> Demo, let's talk about Liverpool. No, but, but when I say to you, Demo, Demo, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Demo, Demo. Remember me tell you, say, you know, you know, say, Arsenal go into all you see, all you see, man, they go on. No, man, is man, no, me tell him already, say, I'm now in the league, you know, boss. Me and man, is man, have our ongoing okay. day. My, my virgin, right, 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 and that's that from long time, say, me say, Arsenal, me did say, me say, Arsenal look out, you know, but Ryan say, no, they now, we know, because pressure was pipe, you know. But when, me say, when, me did say, them all, Carla, you know. we only have 12 games left, you know, I don't know if people realize that. Arsenal only have 12 games left, and only three of those games are outside of London. You know? I'm not saying that. Look here, look here, look here. I don't know, like don't know, no, look like a bigger fool when you lose your 12 games. Hold on, hold on. Which, 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 this London is, this team, which London team, okay. with the exception of Brentford, which other London team has taken points from Arsenal this season? No real matter what they find, they more beat them now. A panny deer, no. You know, you know, say panny deer. You man has tell a panny deer, you have to about the deer. Any man can't tell. Hey, who who them predicts Liverpool they win seven years today? No one. Who would have predicts that you would have got strong for last minute? Yeah, who then? That's right. Exactly. Yeah, you know, you're ready to come here. No, man, big up your brethren, but here's what I'm saying that. So that is why you can't predict that Arsenal will go stumble and buck them too. If me can't predict anything, you can't predict anything either. I would agree with the last minute to look away. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, my brother said, who them predicts say Bomo carry you that's your feeling that struggle. We have, a struggle, struggle for beat Bomo out of your yard. You, be, you struggle with Bomo out, you know. Your yard, you know. Right. Remember, I'm not going to Bomo out. So we have a lead fan because you know so leads are no arrival. We have a lead fan we want to talk to you. Because him said him just a him just a text and I say, man is a give the man 21 three seven three 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 seven minute period, you know. So just hold on, soldier. All we right. have a lead fan in him in him cataract. <laughs> so so man is man is man. Why is this man still why is he still talking though? Why is he still talking though? Like bro, like blood, like seriously, <laughs> coach, hey, man is man. Yeah. No greater love has a man that he laid out yeah. his life for his brother. <laughs> Look here, Leeds man, Leeds man. Why are you still talking, though, bro? Why are you still talking? I'm saying this. No, I'm saying to you. I can listen. I I can talk. I got you up now. Me get seven. Well, but me still, me still, me, I'm not getting relegated. But you would not get seven, and you get relegated. All right, well on, soldier. Let him oh, respond. That song? Well, I let him respond. Get, get relegated. Your time, cataract. <laughs> okay. Um, I, I thought it's me named cataract. Whatever do say, you have cataract in your eye because I am one point above safety. And as long as I've told you about it, but you heard before, as long as I am not in that relegation zone, I am good. We're good around here. What I would like to know is, 
Man you used to have for the last three or four years just reasonable expectations. They would stop hype. You couldn't tell that they existed. But this season, particularly even after the World Cup, they've got loud and proud. My question is, it's just simply, I have a, I have a tune for you. It's an Afrobeat song. You want to bamba? You want to roll with the big boys? That's what happens. And this thing about buck tour business, since when football comes to buck tour, and the ifs, well, if Le Leeds will win five games and we'll be safe and we'll be mid-table, that's not how football goes. The thing is that Manu has spent a significant amount of money on Ant Anthony, and they, they, they went and they got um, the striker there, the six foot former Burnley, the Burnley United striker, um, Waghurst. They've they've spent, and maybe it's a blip, but what happened yesterday was certainly a serious blot and stain on Man United's record. It, it against a hated rival. It won't be it won't be forgotten anytime soon, sir. That's all I can say to you. PTSD is real. I've heard it before. You all have stomach tongue today. It don't look good. What you would do, sir, is take for yourself. <laughs> all right. Let's see. Let's, let's hear um, Soji. Yeah, you can oh, right respond to the man. Can you hear what he's saying? Because the Manchester United fans in a cataract. Yeah, check the comment section. Yeah, Remember mm -hmm. somebody like Manchester United from Marnie, you know? And they say, Lee Sainz have no business talking about any team getting beaten. So that's what I'm doing. What do you mean? No, 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 sir. As bad as things be, a six may get. Last season when we had BLS and we were played expansive football, as some six may get. Seven? That is like almost every man score a goal, you know, for the team. <laughs> <laughs> right? All right. <laughs> Well, I know you're a soldier. Soldier, you're here, you're here Ketarok. What, what do you say in response to that? Well, Ketarok can't say anything. You know, Lee, Lee, Lee is not good, you know. So, <laughs> me, me, Lee, Lee, Lee is a fight to pay, 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 see for themselves from, from P&I League, you know. And the next thing, as I said, I get seven, and I take my seven, and, and, and no problem, because I, I, give, I, I give seven and I give eight. So, you, you know, come away to me. I give a national eight, too. Uh, already, so and, and we know we know sing pan it. Take that arsenal. We get us not here, you know. We get us not here, and we know sing pan it. Yeah, man, man. Remind my names, man. <laughs> yeah, man, I'm not, man. I talk about that. I got here too from you long, long time ago. Yeah, yeah, long, yeah, long yeah. time. So, so, so I'm. I'm me not, me not really talk about it. Leads, leads come, leads come, leads come, and me, leads come, leads come, and me I'll, I'll tell them I come play me. I'm at, at six, me two of them net, six, me two in a leads, in a leads net, you know. Yeah, yeah. And send them back up a leads, you know. You, you heard this? My name's. All right, you heard this? Let me play something. Tell me if you're hearing it. I don't know if you heard this. <laughs> Hold on. Hold on a sec. Let, let, let me set it up because we want to make sure you're hearing it. Hold on, hold on. Oh, the volume off. Tell me if you're hearing it. Sure. Let's go back to the beginning. Is that a call from Ten Hag? Uh, you hear you hear that? Yeah, man, I use that man in man. No, <laughs> no, no. You know this brother. Yeah, yeah. He's always doing these videos. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I hear it, man. Yeah, man. Me say, go a hole. Who open up? Go for an field, you know. Yeah. Um, if they, when they, if they, if you win, me say, can they? If they beat and show it, and show something in a unit, me buy you go in next life. Then turn up against me, like if they turn up like against me, like or they turn up against. Turn up against me. 
It was in tough games. Maybe they played the other game, so they must reach top four. But through a, a cup final, they play when they play me, you know. Because they got boom out, go lose to boom out, you know. Okay. Um, um, South is asking, Soji, I just have a question. You go in easy. Why him talking yeah, man. about A2 now? And then Kepler yeah, No, because on the day, on the day, as me say, you know, on the day sometime, you know, you expect to win, you know. I said Saudi right. I did say that. I did say that Saudi. I did say that, but sometimes that's how football is. Sometimes it's, all, it's what you turn up and what you do on the day. That sometimes it's not a team better than you, but it's just so foot it's just so going better than you at and on that day. You know. All yeah, right. All right. Um Katarak have a question for you and then we go uh, allow our next call. I see Gunnar's boss saying that yeah. If, yeah, man. And, yeah. And, and if, so, Ketarak, you have a question for him? Yeah, man, I have one question for, for, for Soji and one question for him, Bridget. Soji, what is what is your yeah. today you now? There are 12 games to go. Can you tell us your realistic, what is your expectation for where Manu United? Hold on now. What is your job before, brother? I'm not beach, I don't mean I'm Liverpool, where Man United will finish in the league. This season, what's your expectation now today? And to your brethren, who I, I think there is a seven series BMW drive. <laughs> 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 yeah, go ahead. So, those are the questions. <laughs> What you say to him, man? Yeah, I want to be the whole time I win. My chest push out, you know, when me lose, my chest push out. All right. My friend say when he win, in chest push out. When he lose, in chest push out. That's the only thing with him. With me, you know what you said? As I said, if I, from the start I see, I said, if I finish top four, I'm happy. And I said, as long as I have a bet, I have a bet that's Liverpool and Man City not going to win the league. I don't know who will win the league. That's what my bet at the start of the season. And I only want to see that come true. As long as none of those teams don't win, I'm 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 good. Yeah. All right. All right. So to big up yourself. Big up to your your big birthday. Big up yourself. Yeah, man. All right. Yeah, man. All right. Big up. Yeah, respect. Cool. All right. I'm gonna as well see it. Line free now, people. We have 72, and uh, you know we have 72 likes. We have to get it past. We don't want to stop on seven. Seven is not a good number today. So let's get it up to 100. We, and we have 74 people right now. Them numbers there. We don't want to, to work with the seven. We want to get it out of, uh, and we have Demo returning. Cataract, we don't know you're going to manage them because Duke Lance, the lead fans on the show, mocking Manu. This is the lowest of lows. The man, they might beat you in the comment section. The man, they say, beat, not, they, beat me. they say you should not be on the show because you're not even in the show. Shame, them, shame. <laughs> them, shame. Okay. Read again, read again. It's a low point that have a Leeds fan mocking you. Yes, because last remember Manning's last year when they gave Leeds six, right? I think it was six one it was the score something like that. Or we did score two, some something like that. But we got six. They 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 they, they let us have it. But the last time I looked at maths, seven is greater than six. So. But my, my, my remember when it, the thing started off and you asked you asked me back last year what was our expectation. I said to you, as long as I survive in the Premier League, I'm good. My team is just built for survival for the next two or so seasons before we can have any ambitions of anything else. It's a survival game. What baby Shama said is a survival story. Yeah. All right, Demo is back. Um, Coach Minzy, link me the man or your move, sir. Yeah, move, sir. We just need to talk for around seven minutes. It's not long. Seven minutes call Coach Minzy. We just need Coach Minzy. We call Coach Minzy. We just need seven minutes. Go ahead, Demo. Let me see if we can link Coach Minzy. No, I'm past the Liverpool thing already, you know, that Arsenal title challenge, but it reach and thing. We can continue the banter. Yeah, with, let me see if we can call Coach Minzy for, 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 for seven minutes. And, and by the way, I mean, a lot of people are put it under the radar. I said Chelsea needed to give Potter time. You know, he got his, his victory as well. Don't make that slip through. I think Potter is the man. So. You think Potter is the man? 
Yes, he is for Chelsea. Okay. And hello, hello, Coach Minzy, good afternoon. You're live on I Am Sure Sports. Can we get seven minutes of your time? <laughs> no, me sure to about me sure to about. <laughs> All right, seven, <laughs> seconds, <laughs> seven seconds. seven seconds. You cut the call seven seconds. What can I say? man. You want to meet with Ken Hag, man? <laughs> so, man, man, you're going to make seven calls? You say we short back in seven minutes. Mm. I know Jesus Christ had twelve disciples, <laughs> but boy, I don't know. What, I don't know. I don't know. What, I don't know. Yeah. Listen, what listen. Yo, man, put cataract on time out. They have to put a work me there, you know. Cataract <laughs> the woman out. Yeah. Run while you can, cataract over here, no safe. It's not a safe space for a man where they are leading support over here at all. Anybody, no do it. Run while you can. I saw seven. You don't have no moral. You're deaf on the phone so long I talk about everything and I talk about seven. Here two wound is already healed, brother. Your seven, that seven day yesterday, that seven day me know. It have your hurting right now, a fresh wound you are deal with. Our seven, our, our year two heal long time. That you have to talk about you over here, I talk about, talk about Leeds and I talk about Arsenal and I talk about Liverpool at seven days, my second side drop in your face. That you have to talk about the first goal goal happened so fast, me the outsider, I, I jerk piece of pork to the wife and by the time I <laughs> go back in my house. By the time I turn back in my house, I, I, I kneel kneel and by the time I turn back in my house, my Liverpool fan call my phone and I say, fine, I seven love, you know. I seven love. I say a lie, I went and scored seven goals, I couldn't believe it. And at that, me hear the man come over here and I talk about I really call the phone today. So she even call the phone today if you never cry on the phone because we know you cry this from the heart. First God, yeah man, we know you hurt so, but I your job, so you're happy there. Yeah man, so you think of big up on yourself, see what you done now. I mean, big up, big up. So say, you're now win this year, but you have some talk. I see you in the comments of these people. My God, you know, I work with you. Know, you know, I, I, I already say, yeah, nobody lose their job because, you know, you know, you don't get to seven minutes yet, but not a problem. Hey, let me, leave. Let me lose my job. No super chat now. Nah, come here. No, that, bro. <laughs> yeah, we need, we need a seven dollar, we need a seven dollar super chat. We need some seven dollar yeah, super chat. <laughs> All right, fine. No, seven. As, hey, people, it will happen in the comments section. Let me make up and put up seven. Everybody put that thing up. Stop saying that. Man, my name's man. Yeah, man. Mister, 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 Mister. Everybody, big up on yourself, man. Go on. All right, bring, good up, bring up that brain drain comment, there, please, because Miss, you see things like this, it really annoy me. You see things like them. We need seven super chat or seven super sticker. Go ahead. Go ahead. It still only counts for three points. Just saying. I don't know which club this brother are. Man, we for a man or a woman. I'm just me, me go. We, we call it non binary, that them call it nowadays. I don't even know, right? Yeah, know. You, see, you see things like this, brother. A rivalry against Manchester United and Liverpool playing at Anfield. This was not just, just no three points, bro. People will remember seven nil more than they will remember three points. Me, me not even remember say three points we get for that. All I remember is the score is 7-0 because of the rivalry that Manchester United and Liverpool have because of the context of the game, how Manchester is seen to ha be, be having this flying season and Liverpool having their worst season. And even in Liverpool's worst season and one of Manchester United's best season, we we'll flag them several over a way out. Be bearing in mind that last season, them get 9-0 in aggregate, 5 and 4. So it, it is it is nothing for do it just no three points. The rivalry is much, much bigger than that. So don't come tell Liverpool fans, boy, this is just no three points. Try tell man United fans that them them probably need to hear the cushion. But for Liverpool fans, this is way more than three points. This is this is about rivalry and rubbing it in them face and bragging rights and sending them back out. Especially after a thing I'll come out and say before the match. But the, the Anfield is, is just the same and the pitch is the same. The fans are the same. The ball is round. Blah, blah, blah. Him says so much nonsense. And then we send him with him, him tail between him legs and send him home. This is much bigger than three points. I hope that was seven minutes. Go ahead. 
All right, get her, get her up. That's so, man is so, talking to you. He said, "You are leads." Um, before the, before a man, before a man talks, but I just want to say, I am surprised that brain drain, who claims to be artificially intelligent, would not <laughs> understand the implications of that. Yes, sir. Every win is three points, but there's such a thing as goal difference. Yeah, true, true. Okay, so go ahead, go ahead now. Who who who, who wants to talk up to you now? Yeah, man. But as he's saying, you are lead son. At least, yeah. uh, it's the AC. Don't mention what Liverpool did. Worry about relegation while we already won a title. Uh, you don't win a title. You win a is a title. Are you win a cup? Are you in a cup? So some man never even understand. <laughs> I tell you, PTSD is real, you know. Manning's PTSD is real. The man said with a title and then win a cup. Ah, yes, sir. So, so tell me which title you win, bro, bro. Tell me which title. I, I, I'm interested. I, I don't want to mad mind a, a man's side. You know which title you win? Let me yes. ask you. Right? Please so please I'm confused. Get a, get a rock here in a dog fight relegation. Please stay out of puss fight. <laughs> yeah, we are in a dog fight. But 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 you remember, so we, we spend dog fight money. You spend thoroughbred money for in a, for in a the derby. And you 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 you, you got a sh a shellacking. Let, let me use a nice word. Though. A shellacking. And, and more goals could have been scored. Let, let's you know, not you, you let's not what, forget that part. Yeah, you know you know what I I I think though I think it is easier for Arsenal to win the title than for Manchester United to remain ahead of Liverpool. You know. I think that because the point difference is so close, I think it is going to be more challenging for them. And I think because Liverpool is playing very good football, number one, and I still don't believe that City has been at their best. And so I think that is working in Arsenal. Again, it's a game of football. Anything can, anything can happen. Um, all kind of things. City could lose out as well. Arsenal could lose out. That's how football is. But I almost believe that it is easier for Arsenal to win the title from this position than for Manchester United to finish ahead of Liverpool from the position that they are in. Because the point gap is, is not so far, having played the same amount of games. There are seven points behind them now. Yeah. And, and United still have... FA Cup that they are in, Europa League and, and the Premier League. Liverpool only have the Champions League and... Brighty? We have a Champions League. Oh, oh, a Champions League. Yes, Osh, Osh. I think you already knocked me out. Osh, my bad. Liverpool have the Champions League <laughs> and the Premier League to play. Though I think it will be very steep. What that could mean is that if Real Madrid beats Liverpool, Liverpool have only one competition to focus on. The yeah. Premier League. Yeah, yeah. Which would be very difficult for Manchester United if they are still in the FA Cup, still in Europa, and mm -hmm. still trying to finish. I, I think you understand me. That plus, brings, man, plus, plus players coming back as well. Remember, all our injured players, most of them are come back now, barring Diaz. You see the difference with Konate made since he's been back already in, in defense with Van Dyke. Um, Jata, he could have probably get a goal yesterday, but you know, he's coming back as well. So you're making a good point. I don't think we're going to catch them, per se, but top four is the aim for now. Yeah. Um, Cataract, I'm only saying Leeds is like boom, boom, I try to clash Cataract. Leeds is a <laughs> juggling sword. <laughs> <laughs> so you have to take on that one. Um, I would just say that juggling sound me. Oh, play a boy that party. But seriously, <laughs> when you have a the league is stratified, right? The league is stratified. Leeds is a recently promoted side. This is only our third season back. Right? So it, 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 it's not a matter of arguing. I'm not coming for arguing your uh, position myself, which I'm just come for laugh after you. You don't know, get that. You are the laughing, you are a laughing stock. <laughs> I never come here for. Eggs up, eggs up myself with you. Me not a me just go to the big informer side. 
where they where they where they go report to 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 to, to, to FIFA, you wait for for fair play, right? Yeah, man, we just come for laugh after you, and I I wish you nothing but destruction. <laughs> and finish out the top four and stay in the Europa League. That's what I wish for you, in case you never know. So, it's laugh, we come to laugh. I'm not going to sit down, no, 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 Barmot fans here, or no, or no, um, no Southampton fans. So, I'm not going to talk to you. So, we just come to laugh after you. All right. Yeah, we, have a call, we have a call online. But, De- um, Demo, we're going to let you answer Kali Sinclair, who says, so can Demo update his prediction when Arteta is going to buck them too? He or Arsenal, he said by November, by the World Cup, after the World Cup, and now when. So, but Carla, oh, yeah, oh, after the call, yeah, okay. okay. so just think about it. Carla, welcome, welcome to the show. No, man, I'm here oh, again, so, man. Yeah, we just want to big up a brother, man. We want to big up a brother named Chatterock, man. The car, <laughs> no, see, serious. Yeah. We don't like, can I remember saying, you no, know? remember saying, you no, know? leads in a leads in a championship for the longest while. You, know? you see, a man can. A man come and tell the same of fun of Leeds. He now if he tell you that, you know, he could have tell you something else, you know. Charles, the man where I try to use the argument, say, oh, them in the relegation zone and him not an attacker. He never have to tell you from man in say man Leeds, man. He could have tell you, he could have tell you what I think them where I win. He could have tell you Manchester City. I wouldn't know. That's why I go. Yeah, 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 definitely. Yes, yeah. yeah, so me have a bigger than man, man. When me and man are carrying them team, they have to be got them money, man. Because them could have jumped by anyone on the winning team and said they are the fan of their team. They can't. They want that. They want that. I guess some of the people are really but, challenging him because you know that Manche- it was Manchester United who reported Leeds, you know. Yeah, them have them rivalry. Them have, that's why he might go find it. That's why he might see them get that seven day. They are Manchester yeah. United. Are big, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Remember, we were a high flying team in the Premier League and everything was okay. I think David O'Leary was the manager. God, I hope I don't get it wrong. And Manchester United made a rep- uh, uh, what they thought was a confidential report. Basically, I inform us and tell the people them to come check your books because the money is not right. And we ended up having to sell off the players them. We got a points deduction. Right? And we ended up out of the leagues. We, we went, leagues went, down to, leagues went down to League One, you know. We went down to League that's One. Ari Kewell, Ari Kewell, and Ari Kewell, Alan Smith, um, Viduka. Mark Viduka. Viduka. Yeah, man. So um, it was Manchester United that really got them out of the Premier League, really, you know. No, and but really, we, we're yeah. down to League yeah. One. We're yeah, down to League uh, One. All the way to League One. It was Manchester United. Who, that is what really, wh- why there's a hate between both clubs. No, man, them have the hate before that, man. No, the hate, the hate before. was before that, you know, but that, that, the, the hate is from the war between the War of the Roses, between the White Rose of Leeds and the Red Rose of Lancashire. White Rose of Yorkshire. But what made it more... um. Marines is that the man them go buy the player them they they they, they at them first they, they go buy Alan Smith and um when me and the the we are supposed to get some sell on money from Rio Ferdinand because Rio Ferdinand was a Leeds produced player you know so we had to forfeit those money because and they bought oh lord what the ball we play up front. A two players they went and buy them first go by. We don't have no problem with Liverpool. Liverpool yeah, they buy Harry Kewell. Alan Smith. Oh, yeah, talk, yeah, you're not on that before. Me, they are talking about oh, Cantona, but that not before. No, no, but that was before, Cantona. but that, that was that was the threat of whatever, you know. Because let me tell you something. Alex Ferguson is not a nice man, you know. And one day the truth will come out about many things that he did. He used to come and pressure people. I said, boy, if you know, sell me the them player that me go. It's some blackmail thing. Let me use forget um, Eric Cantona, you know. And they wanted another player. I can't remember who it was. I think it was, um, no, I do remember who it was. They wanted to, us to sell them Lucas Radaby, the central defender. When, um, what the big man name again now, Rona Bakleso. 
Oh Lord, the captain. He had come Steve, toward the end Steve of his Bruce. career. Pardon me? Steve Bruce. Steve Bruce. Steve Bruce. Steve Bruce. Them man, when, when the man they were just finishing up the, them them career before you they got to um the Serbian guy, the Croatian defender, and them man they saw. The 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 man who was looking for central defenders and Lucas Radaby was one of the central defenders that they were trying to get. And when Leeds held out and didn't send him. Next thing we know, Mocha run through the place and I take up laptop and them something there and find out say we need a chappy line. <laughs> Come with that chappy line hard you know. <laughs> with a little line. But you read the rules still. It's the No, with that chappy line hard. We need that chappy line hard. Yeah, <laughs> but you read the rules and the them you report for you know? I mean if 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 I think Leeds would have done the same thing. No. No, because it, look here. Remember at that time, you know. If you knew the, Manchester United were breaking the rules, you would inform on them. So, so Manchester United will break all the parole. We we'll never know. We we'll never do the Man same thing. We'll arrive, Manchester but... United break a whole the parole. What I'm saying is, most of the time, it's FIFA, UEFA, and their auditors that the auditors that that that. Look like cataract wife. It, 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 it's FIFA. Um, it, you, know, you have to keep the ladies happy. It's FIFA. <laughs> um, <laughs> go for wife, fine, you know, not wife, and a wife, fine. Go for say that, brother. Go, go ahead. It's FIFA. Um, and you wait for most is you wait for that would come in and through their audits because remember, they run a central transfer system, you know, so they can look and see how much you spent on transfers versus your income. And you're not supposed to have over a certain amount of losses. So generally, you get caught like that. But it's hardly ever that clubs inform on another club to bring down a club and, and them today. Because a lot of those were backdoor deals, you know. You say you, say you buy a player for, 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 for 15 million, but really at 25 million you pay for the player, but... That is done by some other way or whatever. So the are not going to have a line, but they they inform. I would have liked inform. Just there you go. And yeah. they, they start to then benefit first. We never have a problem. Remember, say, I um, think that they get Harry Kewell, and they I think they got Mark Viduka as well. Um, Liverpool. We don't have a problem with Liverpool. We don't have a problem with Liverpool. No, Liverpool because they, the man, they at least have some little decent thing. Is I don't know who really gets Viduka. Aston Villa, Aston Aston Villa, Villa get Viduka. Aston Villa get the Viduka. Chelsea get Jimmy Fly and Hasselbank. We, we don't have no problem Liverpool, with those teams. Liverpool but, get Liverpool get a recuel. A two player then get, my match. I remember the next player. But we, we never have a problem with those teams because the team would get stripped down to zero with it, down to it naked. Right, and then, but it's how the man them do it. The next day, them 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 because it was a fire sale. It was a fire sale of a team that had reached the semi-finals of the Champions League. The year there was there was fire yeah. sale team. So it's just good to see the destruction of Manu. That's that's the point, and they will have to long live the seven nil, and it won't be forgotten for any time soon by many fans across the English Premier League. Many, many, many. So if you think says a nine day wonder, God me, I'm on the supper. A seven day wonder Ketara. Oh. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, Salty. So you knew some of that history, Salty. Yeah, I know. Mean, not as much as him I tell you, but me know me know him I talk about basically. But me never know about the part, but man you a, a snitch. <laughs> man. <laughs> man you a snitch. Yeah, man. All right then. <laughs> yeah, man. all right, Salty. Yeah, well, uh, D yes, uh, yeah, man. Dima, you want to take the question that Kali had asked you earlier? Yeah, I mean, um, I don't mean, know. Dimo, I think it was saying, um, so can Dima update, update um, his prediction when Arteta is going to book them two? He said by November, by World Cup, after the World Cup, no when. And man then, is man. W w like, which way you want me to address this? You want me to try to be logical or just. <laughs> just just attack it because you know, did, did they book them two since November? Like, did Arsenal lose any game? Yes, yeah, okay, we lost so they did book them yeah. two. Did they lose it. the top of the table at one point for a couple 
what was it? Oh, was there a day? I mean, remember, Manchester City were on top for a bit, right? Yeah. Cool. So, so we can be technical the way that if we want to do that. But I'm not going to do that. I'm going to do this. My prediction has remained the same from the start of the season to right now. I think Manchester City has experience chasing and finishing ahead of people who are... Uh, um, so, so they have experience chasing from behind and they have experience leading and being chased by great teams, right? And so because of that and the fact that I've seen Arsenal crumble trying to maintain a top four position on the Arteta, I think that experience will count more for Manchester City to overcome because they have chased down Liverpool whatever points we were ahead of them. And we were a great team. So Arsenal are having a fantastic season. I just think City will have the quality. And at the end of the season, Manchester City will be champion. So the buck tour will happen somewhere. That's the point. We also predicted that our, um, Liverpool would have finished second door at the start of the season. Oh, okay. <laughs> what does that mean? <laughs> And and um and you had um I think you had Chelsea in your top four as well. Yeah, but okay, but predictions can go wrong anytime. Like it's a prediction. What more want oh. people to do is argue with my analysis. You can argue with oh, predictions oh, oh. all no, you no, want. No, no, what I'm saying is that some of those predictions have have um have actually not panned out the way. So you know, maybe the other prediction will not Yeah, out maybe the way. that's why they're predictions. <laughs> but but argue with my analysis. Don't don't tell me say, oh yeah, you say two one and, and a two two the game done. Okay, so what? <laughs> it's a prediction. They can be wrong. All right, boss. All right. Brain drain brain drain says that is re um reiteration, reiteration, it's only count for three points. I think oh, he no, heard yeah, but goal oh, okay. difference is important though, brain drain. Okay, okay. It only uh, counts for three points. These okay. seven these seven goals have affected Manchester United severely. If you look at the table, I mean, with with the recent result, Manchester United is now at six. If Liverpool, all the other teams, including Newcastle, have better goal difference than them. Of the top six teams, they have the worst goal difference. Boss, Brentford have a better goal difference. Yeah. <laughs> of the, right? I mean, in the top 10, Brentford, well, Chelsea, minus one, and Fulham, five, are the only teams that have a worse goal difference than, 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 than Manchester United. So it is a problem, brain drain. Seven goals without reply is not healthy for, for your goal difference. Demo, Kali is saying that your thing is not analysis, it is wishful thinking. All right, in a minute, since we continue this conversation, <laughs> that's it's just kind of ridiculous. Well, okay. Yeah. All right, people. Um, I know I know a fresh god, but um, listen, it has been a very good show. We have around seven seven minutes left. Sorry, really and truly, it's it's, it's three hours and twenty minutes, and it's three hours and thirteen. So we actually have seven minutes left. Fresh God, don't worry about the JPL show, right? Double header today, everybody talking about Tapa versus Whitmore at the jungle. You know it's time. So, um, yeah, that's going to be a big, big one this evening. We're supposed to go to the game, but we're there on the show and things. Tapa, so we're going to... Tapa versus Whitmore? <laughs> Sorry, Tapa versus... <laughs> Tapa versus... <laughs> top of versus speed. Top of what versus time speed. What time is that game? It, is it seven o'clock game? Oh no! So, yeah, so yeah, it, it. yeah, yeah, yeah. Top of <laughs> top of versus speed. <laughs> Thanks, Cataract. But we're gonna do that, and then tomorrow we should be able to give us some update and some progress. In fact, by Wednesday we should give some update and some progress with the committee. And then we're going to meet with some people. We need to have a meeting with the, the Cataract and some of the other people to, to settle up um, some of these things. 7.30 game, Cataract. Well, unfortunately, we have a, every, Monday, every Monday night thing when we do. So. Oh, oh, but, yeah. Um, so Monday night, I'm not really. I watch football on a Sunday. But um, um, let, let me um, pass on my best wishes to, to Coach Whitmore. I hope he gets a victory. Because I... <laughs> I feel the same about Cavaliers. We have the speed as I do about Manchester United. So, come on, Tapper. <laughs> it's what 
Go, you know, we have to get like a spice. Like, that's something, seriously, that is something about Jamaican football that's lacking that drives the JPL, the, the, the EPL. There's a lack of derbies, you know, and fierce rivalries, serious, fierce rivalries. And you can't really have a league that survives without serious, fierce rivalries. Even the Argentinian league, the Boca versus... um. The, the book of versus River Plate. River Plate. River Plate. You know, mm. it, it, it's crazy. So we have we have to develop them. So this is what I call the pink slip derby <laughs> for every man who has ever been fired <laughs> and get a chance to beat back the boss. This is what I call the pink slip derby. <laughs> who mm. will come out on top? Seriously, though, but who, who do you believe? Do you think that um that and I see a man say wishful thing. So my wishful thing is that is that Mount Pleasant does the double. Over um over over Cavaliers. Yeah. That's yeah. one. Yeah, and quick, quickly I'm gonna say I I I think it's it is going to be a good game. Uh, or, or one of the better games in the JPL. Um so those who can go out, just go out and support the league still, man, and and, and give the club them a support. But there, there's an important thing I want to say to the Arsenal fans. And you you said it and you asked which team defeated. The reason why a London team is so difficult for them to win the league. It's because there are so many London derbies. Go yep. back and look when Arsenal um won the league and Chelsea won the league. There were less London teams in the league at that time. They've no, I think they've now gotten two more teams as fixtures in the league than they would normally be. Right, because before it would have even West Ham was a was a was a championship team, you know, that used to yo-yo. Fulham would would, would sort of yo-yo, and Crystal Palace was probably the, the the smallest of the stable teams. But when you have so many London derbies, the teams get up for the game, and so yeah. you can't always be be assured of 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 three points rather than even a draw. So. It's not really a good thing to have so much London derbies left to play. Yeah, Arsenal, Chelsea, Tottenham, Fulham, Brentford, Crystal West, Palace. West Ham. Six. West Ham, that's seven. That's true, mm. you know. That, that's, that's seven and seven, 14. No, man, you don't, play, you, don't, you don't play yourself. You don't play yourself. Oh, um, yes, yes. So you have 12, you have 12 games yeah. out of the 38 games. Twelve of them are derbies. Yeah, that's and true. even for a team like Crystal Palace, they have an extra derby because them and um Fear. Brighton have have oh. a have um a rivalry because the the, the 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 highway the motorway runs from Derby to um from Crystal Palace from South London to um the South Coast, so they have a derby there. So it is it's, it's kind of difficult. It's really kind of difficult for a London team to, to win. Point. Whereas if you look at a team like like Liverpool, it's one, it's two derby games they have for the season. Everton yeah, but, home and away. Yeah, but and like and you, you can add Manchester United. Imagine to, to Arsenal your... have twelve games left, you know. Arsenal have twelve games left, you know. They, mm. they have in terms of game outside of London, only three: City, Brighton, I believe, and Liverpool. Every and other, saying... the other nine games are in London. Yeah, but that is mean it's nine derby games you're playing. Well, it's not nine London teams though, because I think like Leeds is coming to play them there and stuff. Oh, oh okay, yeah, okay. So, so, but they're all being played in London. I don't know if that will work for them because they have to do, they don't have to travel like out of London um a whole lot. I don't know if that makes any difference at all. The, 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 well, the travel from places like Leeds and Newcastle, um, those are the travel that really Middlesbrough, those those teams. So I don't know if Aston Villa is there. That's not much of a travel. That's a straight one thing journey. Um, yeah. Yeah. The yeah, advantage but have, of teams that yeah. come into London. That's why also teams find it hard to win when they come to London because of the travel. Mm. Yeah, but we have a big meeting coming up tomorrow as well. That I mean, once it is done and set the first we're going to talk to the people about that. So, Fresh God, don't worry yourself, man. We'll do the JPL show tomorrow. But we had to cover some of this. Um, EPL, 
stuff, you know. And then, like I said, we want to discuss the Royal League thing with the with the women's football. We're gonna go and check that out because that is some serious, serious business. What, what um, happened this week? Me and me and dad. Uh, we are we are the, the, the one of the managers at the Royal League. Um, it, it's one of the teams in the football in the female league. They, they, they traveled to Montego Bay to play a game, but they, there was some error on the fixtures. And so they, 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 they said that the, the people at the Federation admitted that there was an error, but they are going to still, they lost the game basically, though there was an error, and they are going to deduct an additional three points, and then they are going to find them um, money. And they are saying that they, they only get like, 350,000 and the next 250,000 in terms of sponsorship for the league. Ooh, a lip up, 350 and then 350 in sponsorship. And um, it's like 10 teams. So by the time you calculate how much money to travel, they don't have any money after buying gears and all of that and to pay fine. And then if they can't make a game, she was saying that they have 48 hours to kind of um, request a postponement. Right? But they, they, they got less than 24 hours based on the information that they saw to, to and that this was afterwards to make adjustment for a three o'clock game instead of one o'clock game. So it can't be that you want me to, 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 to tell you in 48 hours time that I need to change for whatever reason, but you are giving me less than 48 hours notice about a change in fixtures. Maybe the JFL should find themselves. <laughs> well, and pay, and pay the money over to the clubs. I but think, I don't. I think I think they should they should they, they they should give the people the money, and if they don't want to play the game, they they find a way. But I I don't think I mean need to hear from them. Let me say it that way. Let's hear from them and hear what they have to say. Um, yeah. And then the the, the squad should be dropping very soon, so can look out for that. And that is the squad for the two Trinidad. Um, and to be a good game. Okay. Well, as, as I said earlier, I just, I just didn't, I just didn't like the fact that, and I would hope that I, I wanted, I was asking, what's the reason why Jamaica is always the last to name a squad in in anything that we do, whether it's a World Cup quality. So it's not, it's not limited to any particular coach. Why is it that fuzzy? We were the last to name our under seventeen. Everybody has the name, them team. We were the last name on the 20. For every single World Cup qualifier, Tapa yeah. was the last, Jamaica the last to announce what their squad was. Sometimes when the man them are flying at the air, we hear the, we hear the thing, and sometimes we never heard it. It's people who they at the airport that tell me which, which player they are playing from London. So I'm just asking, and I've been asking, what's the reason for that? Uh, we're going to have that discussion. Like I said, maybe, on. Yeah, uh, man. tomorrow we can talk about it. Um, see if we can get, you know, um, somebody from the technical committee. Ho ho hopefully, Mr. Speed not in a bad mood after him team get killed. <laughs> Annihilated. Ho hopefully, it's several love. <laughs> what? Brentford, Ethan Peanut just scored for Brentford. Brentford leading already against So, we're going to watch again. People, this is I Am Sure Sports. That's Ketterock over there. Big up, Demo. I am Manning's man, right? Big up, Demo. Big up. Tony, big up Michael Johnson, and come on for coming on. All the callers, all the person with super stickers, super chat, big up. All the likes, all the comments, all the share. Respect one and all. Listen, hit the like button before you go. It's an 80. Let's get it up to 100. I am Manning's man. This has been I Am Sure Sports. We say we are over, and we are O-U-T out of here.